you would join us. May the 4th be with you. T. McCluskey presents Arcade Talk Live Stream. of Arcade Talk. Hopefully everybody's having a great week. If you're off for uh, Easter, hopefully you're having a great time off. Weekend's almost upon us, so let's get this thing going. Let's get Papa Brad on here finally. See what's up with Papa Brad. What's going on, what's Papa Brad? What's happening, man? What's going Team on McCloskey, Team McCloskey, computer disaster right before we had to come on. Disaster, disaster. Disaster. My computer's been living on, connected to my pinball for, uh, for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> alert, 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 alert. <laughs> anyway, so I connected from my pinball and I went to re reboot and I got a black screen and nothing else for about five, ten minutes. I couldn't figure it out. And guess what it was, T. McCloskey? USB. So, much, so many USBs connected to this computer. It could not, it could not boot. It could not figure out what to do. So I pulled, eventually I figured it out. I pulled out, I pulled out one of the USB uh, strips that I'm using and then it, then it booted up. Oh, you did the strip. Yeah. Cause you know, I got all these, I got between the pinball and all these cameras and stuff I have hooked up. Um, it was just freaking out my computer. My computer didn't know what to do. So sorry about that. Uh, the reason we're late is completely my fault. So I, I take hundred percent of the blame. And at least now, you know, if it happens again, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if, if you have a bunch of stuff connect, connected to your computer and it won't boot up, maybe try and plug in your USBs. Thank you, you know, I had, yeah, you know, I had an issue. Today. Oh, did you? Nice, nice. Yeah, thanks. yeah. You know, I, I don't want to be no hippie, you know. <laughs> yeah, I hate when it gets started getting long in the back of my hair. Man, I have, it's true. I have like, I have like so many uh, USB hubs. I'm like, I have to be maxing this computer out as far as what's possible with the USB uh, connections. Yeah, remember I was having problems with my uh, one USB. It kept kicking my uh, microphone out, uh -huh. my, snow, my snowball. Yeah. Since, I, since I've gotten a new cord for it, that mm -hmm. has not happened again. Well, that's good. Watch, I, I jinx myself. Knock on wood. Oh, yeah, man. Don't <laughs> breathe. That. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. I'm not touching anything. I'm not touching any <laughs> settings now. At least I got it. At least I got it powered on. 
Yeah. I mean, so, I am um, using uh, OBS again too. So we'll see. I am probably. using powered hubs. I'm not pulling all the power from the computer, but um, I'm, I got so much stuff connected. It's, I'm definitely pushing my luck. Marine 50 says you need a second computer. You do have two computers, right? Don't you? Uh, I got one another in the arcade room too, but it's a lot less powerful. Like this, this is my more powerful computer. This is the one I prefer to play pinball with. It's my best computer I have. So. Hey, Lord Donkey Paul said it can only supply so much power. I, I was stuck. I was stuck. I was stuck in uh, 1950, 1985, Team McCluskey. I couldn't <laughs> get out of night. I was stuck there. I had to get back to the future. You didn't get to the alternative, 1985? <laughs> dude, dude, I am so addicted. I'm loving this. I'm loving this new table we just unlocked for our tournament, man. I'm loving it, dude. It, it's dude. it. It is such a banger. I mean, this is uh, you know, if if you've if you've seen the Back to the Future movies, I mean, you talk about nostalgia. This 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 game has this table has in droves. Ray says, "Get a mullet, Papa Brad. Get a mullet." Yeah, I'll, I'll try one these days, man. Yeah, I just hate when it hits back my neck, man. Maybe if I shave my neck, even if it's long, I'll do better. I don't know. So who we got in the chat tonight, Pop Brad? Who we got in here? Man, we got a, we got a ton of people in here. Let's see who we got. Let me scroll back to the top. I'm sorry. Let's see. Uh, all the way to the top. We got uh, Jason's here. We got Dan Z. Welcome to the chat. Biggie Fries is here. We got uh, my family. Hey, he was here for a second. Yeah. We got Brooklyn Menace. Lord Donkey Balls. Mad Dog, Marine 50, Juan D, Ray Latore, <laughs> Richard Dello. High scores on tap. High scores on tap. Yep. E Leo. Lord Donkey Balls. That's right. Mad Did Dog, J Cat. Hobby Hands. What's up, Hobby Hands? Glad to see you. Carl O, of course. Um, scrolling. If I miss you, it's not on purpose. Uh, a lot of people. I think I think that's if you're not if you, zero cool is here. Welcome to the welcome to the chat, and if you're watching and you're not chatting, that's fine too. We're glad you're here. That for anybody hanging out. Yeah, anyone hanging great. out, we're glad you're here. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you want to chat, that's fine. If not, we're still glad you're here. So what's Thank going you. on, man? Uh, sorry, like I said, I was freaking out. I thought I thought my computer was uh, but this happened once before. But yep. it took me a while to remember what I had to do. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if he would have said anything to me. I don't know if I was said, check USB. I don't know yeah, I'm juggling said. a lot. I got I, my grandkids are here too, so I've been I've oh, been uh, yeah they've been they've been uh, keeping me busy, so I've been a little distracted. But uh, by the way, the footage on the on the trailer we cut for the uh, Back to the Future that's my grandson playing. That's not me playing. That's my grandson. Yeah, I knew. I'm yeah, filming. I, knew. Like, I think you can tell in one little section, but I'm pretty much filming and he's playing. But I was uh, like, that, that's not Papa Brad. He's loving it. He's loving it. Uh, does he like it? Yeah, yeah. It, it's cool. When you get it to switch, you really feel a feeling of accomplishment. I mean, you finally get it to like move to another time period and you've unlocked all the modes. Um, But I never really dug that deep into this uh, Back to the Future pinball. Zen I pinball. have not either. And, and this one here, you really need to keep the um, ball trails on because you have those. The only way you can get the the um, the lightning and the flames and stuff on the ball is to have the trail balls on. So I actually have the trails balls on right now. So oh, you get the those ball flames. trails! You got to turn yeah. them on so you get the, you have the flames if you turn them on. Yeah, especially when you get the multi ball, you got flames oh, okay. going. I didn't know it did that. I didn't. Yeah. Know, I didn't know it did that. I didn't know it did that. I'll have to turn it's them back pretty, on for this one table. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought because uh, you know doing a. Watching like the trailers and stuff, doing the videos and that. I'm like, man, yeah, I never base. said it's not doing that for me, but I got the ball trails turned off. That's probably why. Yeah, I, I, I had them turned off too, and I had I turned them on. I'm like, ah, there they are. Yeah, you get it's pretty cool in a multi ball because you got flame trails everywhere. It's pretty cool. So, Dude, we're yeah. so hyped about this tournament. All we're talking about is the uh, the Zen Pinball uh, Back to the Future. I'm sorry. Let's uh, where, where are we starting at? Well, I guess we should uh, go ahead and uh, get the start. last tournament. Yeah. And then we'll creature. Creature, I got. Oh, I beat Papa Brad, didn't I? Did I get you or not? Uh, in the creature, I don't know. Did you? You might have. I don't know. Probably. 
I know you're trying, man. Okay, so we, said, we actually had 48 people this time. 48. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's so said for a while for me, but then it went down for some reason. I don't know what. It yeah, I think people come in and they don't play. Oh, if you okay, just maybe that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, I think if you come in and check the leaderboard, you're actually counted. Yeah, so. that's really close to 50 either way. Yeah, I mean, some awesome, man. I mean, there's what third tournament? We already got almost 50 people. Yeah, you can amazing. say we had 50 because it says we had 50, but 48 actually played. So here's number 48. And we had the sharks come out, man. It was awesome. It was oh awesome. My God, Some of these dude. scores, man. Oh my goodness. Some of these I scores are scores. epic, epic, epic pinball scores. You can't even imagine getting some of these scores. Marine 50 said I didn't do so well on creature. Mm -hmm. It was a tough one, man. Like uh Pub Brad said, one. man, they came out it's for this player's one. table. This is a yep. player's table, man. If you love if you love pinball, this is a player's table here. It was still a lot of fun, man. I'd love still a lot of fun, yeah. Just, I mean, just just getting film lit and getting the creature to come out of the out of the play field. Yeah, and, and I actually find a kill light them. up. Or, you know, depending on how you're playing, I like this is one of the few games I like to play with all the extra features on. What's more of a virtual pinball? Yeah, um, you know, it's so cool. You see the hologram on the real machine, but I mean, with a virtual pinball, you can actually have the creature actually comes up out of the water, stands on the pinball machine, and he comes walking around. He, he is yeah, he cool. Yeah, he is. This is. This is this is as good as it gets for Zen Pinball, I think, for me. I didn't realize he actually comes toward your flippers, and uh, it, when you, when you start hitting them, he actually backs up like yeah, back, he does, he does, again, and then he finally goes away. It's a cool table, and then you have the one with um, shooting rocket launchers at the van, and you oh, see yeah. smoke and stuff coming. It's yeah, that really is, cool. That's awesome. They really did a great job with this table. Yeah, they really did. And it. Fun. It is kind of like it takes you a while to learn exactly what to do to to unlock all the all the uh, letters, but once you figure yeah. it out, it's challenging. It's challenging, but it's rewarding as heck when you actually pull it off, and you start the uh, you know the actual movie and everything. It's really rewarding. Yeah, and it's not as I thought it'd be really difficult to get to the you know the two outlines like you know the kissing booth and one and then yeah. the other one. but they're at somewhat once you get it down they're kind of somewhat easy to get to yeah because you make those shots so frequently you get good at making them yeah you know at first i was like oh i mean they're way out there they're to the left and right i'm like i'm never yeah. hit those but yeah and there's there's all there's all the secrets too like if you know if you launch the ball and you land it on the letter in film that you selected before you launched it automatically gives you that letter if you need kiss and you launch and you hold on the left flipper and you launch as hard as you can it'll give you like one or two bars of the kiss meter so there's really? all kind of there's all kind of secrets i mean this table is just chocked full of like like it's just amazing and there's just it's so deep you know i wonder why i got the kissing booth one time because i was like I yeah because like you'll launch oh, the ball and then i'll just do like the kiss will light up and you'll hear the sun you know the girl that makes the noise whenever yeah, it's lit it up. I'm like, that's what it is. That. That's what it is. It gives you if you if you do if you hold on the flipper, it skips it, and it'll give you the uh, it will light up. I think two of the kiss things. You know, you got to get it what like four times. You got to yeah. shoot that shot a lot. Yeah. I think it's yeah. like four of them to unlock that letter. The slide yeah. is just one, but it's a harder shot because you got some stuff that's blocking that side. But uh, yeah, you got the other lane right right next to it. Too. Other lane right next to it. Yeah, that's a great man, great table. Yeah, but I love to see that games make a uh, <laughs> pinball. Dude, this would be this would be almost like a must buy. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could stay away from getting another one if they made this. Especially after playing it, man, all week. Oh, it's like, man, I won the tournament made me even want it more. Yeah, exactly. I was like, come and, on, uh, Aggies, give us the artwork. We yeah, we'll see. Play. It'll be interesting to see like where our numbers go. If this will this will be a peak, you know, or if it'll go up or down. Um, but this definitely is a good classic table if you if you know if you want to play a real pinball table with some challenge. Yep, I'm with you, Juan. I'm with you. Hopefully, AG releases a creature theme ALP 4K. I sure hope so. The thing I like about the Zen is that it allows people to like you know you can play on the PS4, you can play on the PS5, you can play on a computer, you can play on a pinball cabinet. Uh, now my score, I played on a pinball cabinet. You know, you got um, two scores on here, like me, right? Yeah, yeah. And I did test it with the controller. Um, I think it. You know, I'm not sure which one I did better in, but it's cool that you can play both ways. You know, it, it allows more people to play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even Nintendo Switch, you could play on. 
But you can't play in our tournament though. It's dude, I I, I had to dust off my PS4. I had not I, I not I had not booted up my PS4 so long. Like when I turned it on, it's almost like my PS4 said, Howdy, stranger. It was like I had updates, I had updates on top of updates. I bet. Uh it wouldn't remember like uh I ran out of storage, so I had like a little drive that you connect to it. It couldn't remember the drive. Like it was like the whole thing was like it was like uh struggling, you know, it was like reawakening, you know. It had been so long since I'd actually played on it. But I wanted to see what it looked like on the PS4 and it looked really good. Um it was it was really well done too. It's nothing yeah. like playing on the cabinet though. The cabinet it's easier because you could see the table better. Like you yeah. know that you know that rollover shot you have to make at the top to light yeah. film. Mm -hmm. Um to light um to get your ticket. Those shots are harder to see when you play it on a console. When you right. play it stretched out on a real pinball uh, table, it's like a virtual pin, I swear it's a lot easier because you can see the ball better. Because yeah, it's a bigger screen too. It's a bigger screen, it's more stretched out. Yeah. yeah, it was interesting to go back and forth between them. You know. Yeah, I I, I played on on uh, my PC and on my PlayStation Five, and I think it was easier on the PC than it was on, on the Steam. PlayStation 5. Yeah, I, I got the better score on uh, Steam. Than I did on yeah. PlayStation. Yeah. At first, I was playing season five. I'm like, ah, I think this is a little better. And then it's like I can only get so high of a score. They went back to Steam, and then that's when I got mm -hmm. my highest score. You got your highest score on Steam. Yep. I'm not sure. It'd be interesting. I can't remember which one was higher. I think they were mm -hmm. close to the same. We'll find out. It'll, it'll probably a little different, like mine is. Yeah. Are you ready to run down this? Yeah, let's run through it. Okay, with 48, we got the A. Dutch, I don't know. 11 million. Mm -hmm. yeah, 11 million. Then he had Brian Kismet, Matt Kismet, whatever. Okay. 16 million. Then Sammy Sam. I don't know if that's Sam Sam or not. Uh, Might be. Million. And he's got 17 million. Let's see these. Uh, Bruno got 25 million at 45. Then C Sam, 28 million at 44. Then Bernie at. 43 at 29. That's Marine 50. Marine 50. Good job. There he is. There he is. 42. 43 million. And then uh, we've seen uh, Dave LB before. Those Dave aren't LB. bad scores either. I mean, you still have to get pretty far even to get that. Yep. After Dave playing it, I mean, you're still getting pretty far into the game. Uh, then we have Checkout Girl. She's mm -hmm. been in uh, I think all of our tournaments. Uh, number awesome. 40. Thank you for playing. 66 million. Somebody new, Boss Tizzle, 72 million, getting close to the 100 million now. Uh, 39, and Junkie Boy, I know he's playing in the current one. He's at 77 million at 38. Then Darth the Web, Webder, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, 37th, oh, so here you go. That's where he popped into 100 million right now. 109 million from th 37 to 38, pretty big jump. And then another big jump here at 36, 117 million. I don't know how to say that. Uh, then we got tips up here, 131, another big jump. And all of a sudden, you get these big leaps at 35. Yeah, it starts going point. up quick. Yeah. Then Jenny at 34, 133 million. Then JC Draco, 143, another big jump up 10 million. Then 32nd Shaggy Watchman, 154. And Dean Holcroft, 31st, 157 million. Fortress 162. These are all like real close scores. Yeah, man. Look at that competition right on top of each other. Oh, look at this. Who's that? Carl O. That's Carl O. Carl O. Inky's owner 29, 165 million. Good job, Carl O. 29th. Crack the, in the top 30. Crack the top 30. Yep. Not bad. There's Herb Wars. He's another YouTuber. Good job, Herb Wars. 28. 73 million just beat up uh, car O. Then you get DJ. How do I say that? Wow, see, big jump from 27 to 20, from 28 to 27, man. Yeah. 173 to 243. Yeah, big jump there. Big jump there. And then Sue Brock, 26 at 256 million. Poly Gamer, that's uh, Hollywood, right? Hollywood Polo, yeah, 25th. Fifth. Top 25, 278. Oh, there's. See, this is my uh, PS5. Team McCloskey. Team McCloskey playing on a console. You got the joystick. Yep. This is my PS5 right here. 304 million. 29th. 
24th. And if, I think for a while, was it that was your score for a while, wasn't it? Because then you got a better score. Yeah, this was. I beat you played on like, that first, didn't you? I, I thought I had you for a while because like, I was ahead of you for a while. But then you probably came back. You weren't gonna let that. You weren't gonna let that hang. That yeah, this is my PS5. I was like, I played it a couple times, and I'm like, okay, I, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get this high enough score again. So I went back to Steam, and that's when I got my. Yeah. Score. You yeah, got that's high score though. That's a good score. I mean, you're still getting a lot done to get those scores. You're probably pulling the creature out. You're getting well yep. into the battle, battling the creature. I mean, these are still pretty. You're pretty deep into it when you're getting these scores. Yeah, I didn't quite uh, kill the creature on that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I didn't get the jackpot either. Mm-hmm. Did not. Uh, and then high scores on high tap. Scores on tap. Look at just that. Neck and just, neck. Just got me. Just got me, man. It's like. <laughs> mm-hmm. You got yeah, my Randy. family. That's my family. Okay, Randy Iron. From the uh, Friday Night Arcade Show. Yep, he's playing. Yeah. Awesome. Good to see you, Randy. Look, there's Papa Brad at 21st. Oh, man. See, that's funny. Look at us. All four of us, man, are like real close. Yeah, for a while. See, see, that's what I was going off. I was like, I'm ahead of, I'm ahead of Team McCloskey. I can stop playing. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna beat him. But you came back, Team McCloskey. I came back, sucker. You came back at the midnight hour. You snuck it away. <laughs> I was like, I'm good. That's all that matters. I can stop. I'm ahead of Team McCloskey. I was like, don't look at the leaderboard anymore. Just, just look at our. I know, that's all here. I looked at. I was like, any further. <laughs> and I was like, what the, what the. I, I kept it. I kept it a secret over there. <laughs> you kept it a secret, man. You stealth mode it. Like when I beat you, I send you a, a picture just so you know you have to. You have to. You have to. We have to step up competition. When you beat me, you don't tell me anything. I find out. I find out, I find out when I go when I go to get on to play and I can't play because it's over and I see you're ahead of me. You're like, yes, mission accomplished. <laughs> that is mission accomplished. <laughs> you definitely. You definitely. Uh, you snuck one by me. I meant to take a picture after it was over, and I forgot. I was going to send it to yeah, you. Like, oh, a picture after it closed. Yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah. you can do anything. You can do. Okay, so that's me playing on the cabinet. I'm about mid pack, and I'm playing on the cabinet on that one. Twenty first, because I can see it as a computer. That means it's playing from my PC. <clears throat> Pretty good score. That's so funny. We're so close on these. Yeah, that was a great game. I mean, uh... and then twentieth is three sixty one. Man, mm-hmm. I mean, that's a big jump too from yours. Look at that. Big jump. Big jump. El Card Nile. Carnell 77. Eminent Wall. 365. Oh, there's Papa Brad again. Amused Amused to death. That's what Gregory. That's Gregory. Yeah, that's Gregory. 395. Huge jump from 365. Top 20. Top 20 score. Papa, Papa Brad, Brad sneaking in the top 20 as well. Uh, I mean, you're so close to 400 million. Dude, that's after I dusted off the PS4. Uh, um, yeah. So you get a big almost almost 400,000. I just missed it. Dude, you know what I hate? Like, I swear on this game, I I I hit the uh I hit the uh you know it gives you the emergency save where you can shoot it, and when you hit the snack bar, it resets the multi-ball. I swear yeah. I hit that and it drained and it did not give me the extra ball. Like uh, it drained and I literally had hit the ball into the, uh, into the, uh, the snack bar. Snack I don't bar. know. I don't know why I did that. I, I was cussing team McCloskey. I was not happy. That was <laughs> I a good game. I, I got like all the extra stuff. I got the extra ball. I got the, you know, everything was working my way on that one. That was a you good got one hosed. for me. You got hosed. I got hosed. And, and you think the thing at the last minute, I even pulled off. I did hit the the ball into the uh, snack bar, but I guess it I guess it went. I don't know if it went in the drain, and then I hit the ball in the snack bar, and it killed the game because it kicked off after that. And I thought I'd save the game, mm. but anyway, it was, it was it was it was I was on the edge of it anyway. So I mean, could have just been a timing thing, but I was so upset because I still you know I had I had gotten that save. Yeah. Oh, so uh, one D is um, JC Draco. JC. Oh, Draco. awesome! Awesome. One D. Where were we at? One D. I, I remember seeing you. Or is he up? He might be up. Oh, there he is. He's thirty. There he is. Thirty third. Good job, one D. Thanks for playing. Thirty third. Pretty good score there. One hundred forty three million. Yeah, Arcade cool. Troopers right behind Team McCloskey. Okay, we're back. getting it. We're getting to the the bad mom pajamas now. Yep. 
Amuse, okay, we, Amuse to Death with 18. Mm -hmm. Papa Brad That's is 17, Gregory. 398. Dude, he just, Dude. just pulled ahead of Gregory. He's like, Dude, oh. if I could beat Gregory, I mean, I'm, uh, I can't believe that. That's a miracle. He's an amazing player. And then Mad Dog got 413. Sixteen. We, get, we got the big dogs come out for this. I mean, we have some scores coming up. And you got Mercury four thirty two. Is that um, retro mm -hmm. arcade? Maybe is Mercury the fifteenth? There I am, Papa Brad. There I am. There you are, Team McCloskey. Well done. You beat me, sir. <laughs> Fourteen. Well, done. well done with that sneaky victory. <laughs> sneaky oh. victory without telling me. That's good though. What's your final score? Almost four hundred forty seven million. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice. That'd be that had to be a heck of a game. I thought did it was you, gonna be the top ten too. And I was did like, you get look. the uh, did you get the creature twice to come out? Uh, uh, that's a pretty good score. Uh, you know, or did you get the jackpot or something? I got the jackpot. You got the jackpot makes it. Yeah, I got the creature out. I killed him, and then I got the jackpot. I think you get the jackpot when you kill the creature, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's how you get the jackpot. And it, my jackpot was pretty pretty high. It was around it was around a hundred million when I got wow. that. Nice. I was so excited, man. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I got to be sure in the top 10. Nope. <laughs> yeah. 14th. I'll take it though, man. That's yeah. good though, man. This is, this is a deep poll we're getting into now. I mean, I was so happy with that score. I mean, 444. I, I never thought I'd get a high score like that. It's good because there's all kinds of people we know all around us too. So like there are people above us and below us. So we, it's fun to play with people that you know, you know, in the community. Yeah. I mean, look at it. And then Manuel just beat me out, man. 553 at 13th. Mm -hmm. And AZ Snowman 479. I mean, that's a big jump, really, from where I'm at, number 12. And then there's uh, Dan Z. Dan Z at 11th, man, 539. Wow, good job, Dan Z. Wow, that's a good score. And uh, here's the top 10. We're in the top 10, Big Mama Jama, 555. Wow. At 10th. Wow, that's a pretty good jump from Dan Z. Yeah. Yeah. And bad boy Bobby five seventy at ninth. Uh huh. So those two both played on a on some kind of console because they have the console things. Oh, that's where you had to tell you tells you, huh? Yeah, yeah. Sacro's playing on the computer at eighth. And I was on PC. I think it just tells you if it's a console or a PC. Yeah, it doesn't tell if it's on Xbox. Don't tell you if it's a cabinet either. But yeah. that's still good. Then Sacro. It's pretty. It's pretty even as far as playing. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't see any. Obviously, I had a better score on a PC, so uh, the PS5 is not any better. Um, yeah. I don't. Think. It, it yeah. plays about the same on everything. Uh, it just depends on your if you have a good game. Yep, it's all. If you have a decent PC. It's just as good as a console, I think. Yep. And then Mellow. Uh huh. It's seven six eighty. It's a big jump again from Mellow JMEC. Six eighty, man. And then huge, huge, huge jump from seventh wow. to sixth. Wow! Look at Kadash! Wow! Almost a billion! Almost a billion! And look who's number five! Top five, a billion, a billion score for the Ward Donkey Balls coming in big, <laughs> coming in big with one billion. Well, okay. that that is a, that is a, all these players from here on out, man. Massive respect. I am yeah. not worthy. That's amazing. I know. I mean, after playing this, to imagine getting a billion. I mean, wow. And he got a billion, and he's in fifth. It's like, mm. it's like what? Oh, great game, Lord Donkey Balls. Great game. Great man. game. And look, look, look who's next? Who's number four? Goofy Foot. Goofy Foot. Goofy Foot. Goofy Foot coming in top five. <laughs> Way to go, Goofy Foot, man. A score of a billion. A billion. Beat out Lord Donkey Balls there by, what, 21? Say 21 million. <laughs> that was tight. That was tight up there at the top, man. Goofy Foot said, I noticed there's some glitches with the extra ball sometimes. I didn't notice Yeah, that. great score, little Goofy Foot. Yeah. Balls are dropping. Yeah, that's awesome. See, Goofy at number four, man. It's like, damn. I wonder who the first person to score over a billion in our tournament was, though. Was was it Lord Donkey Balls? Might have been. 
Uh, could have been. Yeah, everyone was everyone was chasing that billion after after it was reached last last time. Yeah, I was I was reaching for it, man. I didn't come close. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even come close. I, I couldn't dream. I mean, I can dream. Biggie <laughs> fries. Biggie number fries. At number three. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. <laughs> I'm all out of gum. <laughs> Good kick score. ass. Good Almost one point five billion, man. Man, down to the last two. Here it comes Y O. Look who it is, Y O. Two billion, Papa Bread. Two billion. Two billion. Two billion. One billion's not enough. One billion's not enough. <laughs> Two billion. That Dang. is sick. That is sick. That is sick. And and why is he's not even number one with that score? I know. That's it. insane. That's insane. I mean, Goofy Goofy Fist said Steam Deck and L ALP Micro is a winning combo. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's what he played on. So he played on the cabinet as well. He played on the on the micro. He's playing in cabinet mode. Well done, Goofy Foot. Well Steam done, deck. sir. And a Steam Deck. Well done. Uh um, fries, Y.O. Lord Dunkin Ball says no, it was someone else. I think Biggie may have got Oh, okay. It. Okay. Y'all were y'all were neck and neck. It was Biggie Fries, maybe. Okay. Okay, number one. Number Who one. Is it, Who is it? MF Doom. Is it? I think so. Wow. <laughs> Three billion. 3.2 3 billion. billion. Damn, 2.2 2 billion. 2 billion wasn't enough. He had to get to three. Like, Try to top that sucker. Try to Damn. top that sucker. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm not doing Outstanding competition. Outstanding. Man, three billion, man. Three billion. Man. I can't imagine. I can't imagine Team McCluskey. That had to be a heck of a game. How many? How long it took? I mean, mine was long enough at four hundred forty-seven billion or million. I can't imagine. Also, probably like 30, 45 minutes at least. Probably forty-five minutes. It's amazing. How long? Well did done. The, anybody else knows how long it took them to get their score? That's way up here in the top five. Ray Delatore thinks it took an hour to play that. Could have, could have took an hour. I mean, yeah, that's that's a heck of a game, man. That's 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 a mastery level there. That's you pinball know, wizard. That's pinball wizard. Yeah. Donkey Ball says, yeah, one billion took forty five minutes. I see that we have a lot of people playing on Steam though. If you look, or uh, we have a lot of people using computers. Six, five, four, three, and two all were on computer, but one was back to console. Yep. So it looks like you can you can you can do well either way. I mean, because if you yeah. look at the scores, it's all it's all over. Like it's it's mixed up, you know. I thought at first, you know, everyone's going to have it easier with the console, but I don't think that's the case. I think there's benefits and drawbacks to each one after playing both. <clears throat> yeah, playing both here too. Even you can PS5. definitely see better when you play on the uh, virtual pinball table. But you, I don't think you can get as good a score though, can you? An actual cabinet what do you think i think it's pretty even actually you went on the playing on the um, alp yeah i think so i think it's pretty even that's good to know then yeah i just had a really good game when i played on the pc but there's, like i said i swear i could see better you know i could see the the, the uh the table better but um yeah there's there's like no lag or anything when you're playing on the on the PlayStation four, you know, no, but I mean, it's all good. I think it's pretty even though. I don't think you ever really have that big of a disadvantage. Me either. Uh, big fry says the key is to get the multi multi early then get multiplier uh -huh. while in multi ball. After that, get the jackpot and then super jackpot. Raise and you get that multiplier. <laughs> yeah. And in multi ball, man, be a lot of points. Yeah, so I got the jackpot, but I, I didn't. I don't. I didn't get the super jackpot. So that's the thing. You got to get the jackpot, then the super jackpot. Rinse and repeat, Pop Brad. Yeah, if you get that far. Uh, Mister Unspoken said, "Who played this cabinet mode on a 4K P?" Pop Brad did, right? Yeah, I did. I did for sure. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if anybody else did or not. Yeah. Once I get a second computer, man, I'll be playing these on the. 
Yeah, I really wish I had a computer. Just I could just dedicate a one computer for this, but not that point yet. Team McCloskey. Eventually, I will, I will, I will get a computer that will be just for this, but not at that point yet. But uh, me either, man. I'm Getting using there. the best computer I have, you know. But a lot of fun, a lot of fun. This is a good competition. I mean, I think we we got a lot of people playing. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> three billion <laughs> i never never have dreamed of that <laughs> way to go guys you guys crushed it i mean you crushed it on crushed it they crushed it man that was a lot of competition throughout all the all the score levels too yeah yeah i was happy with my uh my 447 yeah i moved yeah i thought i was gonna be you i thought i was gonna be you the, like, the midnight Shit. hour i said wait a minute team of has a second score in here <laughs> I, I have like I have like a medium tier card. I have what's what's the graphics? I have the same one D. McCloskey has. What's our uh, graphics R card we have? RTX it's not, 1650. It's not great. It's it's all right. It's not it's not the best of the best. No, but it, it works pretty good in 1080. It runs it, it runs it good enough for me. But I mean, there's probably a lot better mm -hmm. stuff. If you had a if you had a better card, it'd probably run better. Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You got to get the more expensive ones. Yeah. One of these days. Yeah. Graphic cards, man. You get, you get to a certain point, man. And they freaking. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. But Tim McCloskey, it's, it's not the graphics card that's making me suck. <laughs> it's not the yeah. graphics card's fault. It's the gameplay, you know? Yeah. You know, I could argue that maybe it's a frame or two smoother, but um, it's not. That would probably not make much of a difference in my particular case. But, uh, yeah, Hobby Hands, he plays it on 1080p, which is, mm -hmm. I think that's really 2K, right? Yeah. Are you, uh, are we going to do uh, the other table later? The back no, we do. Yeah. You want to just show where everyone's at right now and back to the future while you have it up? Yep. Yeah, thanks everybody for uh, playing the uh, Creature uh, Tournament. That was so much fun, guys. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining our tournament, man. That was a lot of fun. Now on to the, the next. On to the next one, man. Oh, should I show our little uh, video first? Yeah, why don't we show that? Why don't we show that video we made first, and then we'll then we'll uh, we'll look at the results so far. Uh, if you're not aware of the table we're moving to next, it's actually live right now. It's Back to the Future. The cool thing about the Back to the Future table, of course, you, you have a bunch of different times that you play, and you unlock different times Dang. as you play the game. Yep. Yeah. Each time you go to a different time, it's like the same but different, too. It's it's really a cool mechanic they have for this yeah. table. It's really brilliant. It's what, 1885, 1985, 2015, and then you have the alternates. Yeah. T. McCluskey, Papa Brad's Gaming, part of our K-Talk show presents Zen Studios Pinball Tournament. This week's table is... Can come back with me? Where? Back to the future. Tournament. Tournament starts on April 4th. And runs through April 10th. That's today. Yep. So you got to turn on the ball trails to get all those flames. Look at that. Oh, that is glorious. I got to yep. turn that on for this table. I turn them on. I'm turning them back on. I normally don't play with ball trails. That is glorious. It is glorious. Flux capacitor. I recognize that from the movie Back to the Future live now. It is live. A brand live. A cake block pinball effects tournament. 1985. 1955 Part 2. 1985 Alternative. 1955 Part 2. 1985 Alternative. Let's picture some of all the movies were cool. 
This is Hoy. If you're gonna shoot the ball, why not do it with some skill? My grandson's playing. I'm filming. <laughs> Michael J. Fox, huh? Go all for the posters. Do it with some skill. Oh, Doc Brown is hard on you. See you on the leaderboards. See you on the leaderboards. Playing in cabinet mode, that's what it looks like. You're playing in cabinet mode, OTG. Love that DMD. There's ID. K6VV. And all you have to do to enter the tournament is go into your pinball FX on whatever platform you're going to use. Most of you guys know how to do Once this. Once you're inside pinball FX, you just go up to the yeah. tournaments. I don't think we need to show this, right? Once all the tournaments load up. Yeah, we don't need to show that part. Everybody uh, here. It's Yeah, I think a lot of people here know how to do it. But uh, it's good to have that because a lot of people don't know. Like when they go to your channel and they're trying to learn about the how to play pinball, a lot of people don't know how to do that. Yeah. Know? I think it's good to have that in there. There's my uh, thing for the tournament there. Back That's to awesome. the future. Came out good. Came out good. That was a collaboration of me and Papa Brad. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, did a, we, we did a team up on this one. We did a team up yeah. on the Back to the Future trailer. It was fun. I think it came out good. It came out great. It came out great. <clears throat> um, you got a uh, ten dollars super chat, T. McCluskey. Ten dollars. Hey, ten dollars. Marine Thanks, fifty. Marine fifty says, "Great job with these tourneys. A lot of fun and thanks. Yes, we're having a great time. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So it's all you, about uh, having some fun, playing some yep. games. <clears throat> hey, there it is. There. And Marine fifty donated ten dollars. Yeah, we're playing the best of the best. We're playing the best of the tables that uh, the viewers want to play. They're picking them, picking winners. Picking the winners. Yep. Thanks uh, so much for, uh, for that Marine 50. Appreciate that. Another great table. Like I said, this one's very rewarding because you can, if you play good enough, you get to move from one time to another time, which is part really great. I mean, a great mechanic. Yeah, it's so neat. And it changes and things up too. It changes everything up. The pinball table layout is the same, but the way that things interact and the objectives change yeah. some. Um, and it kind of follows the movies if you've seen the movies. If you haven't seen them all, you're still gonna have a lot of fun, but um definitely has a lot of stuff pulled directly from the movies, like the hoverboard, the DeLorean, just all kind of cool stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of neat things on there. There's the Tournament ID, because you need it. Yeah, it's neat how it changes up every you know year and changes everything up on the on the table. It's pretty, pretty yeah. cool how they did that. It's crazy. I probably don't play the smartest way. I always start at the beginning though. I don't know why. I just want to start at like the first Back to the Future movie. What's it? Nineteen eighty five. Pre the first yeah. nineteen eighty five. I always start there. That's but, um, I, I like starting I'm probably there hurting myself because I don't know if that's the higher scoring part of the table or not. But it follows the movie then, you know? I mean, it's probably a bad strategy for points, but it's a good strategy for nostalgia because, like, I mean, I've probably seen the original Back to the Future the most. Yeah. Have you seen Back to the Future 2 and 3? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen them all. Yeah, I haven't seen them in a long time, man. I don't even remember them. I have to watch them again, maybe. It's been a long time. Is there rumors that they're going to make another one? I thought I heard something they are going to make another one. Or did they make one already? I don't know. Let's see. How many? They made three, right? Yeah, there's three three parts, huh? It's a trilogy. Is Back to the Future 4 with Tom Holland real or fake? Or is this a fake one? 
Oh, I don't know. Are they going to make another Back to the Future movie? I don't know. Interesting. There's thing I've heard things about it, but I don't know if it's fake or not. Yeah, yeah. I just got a haircut. Thanks, Polo. So if it's real, hey, what's up, Hollywood Polo? Welcome to the stream. Somebody asked. Yeah. Oh, Mad Dog asked, how to how does one connect to the Adams Family 4K and playing on computer? How to connect to OTG, I imagine he means. Uh, you you got a video out on there. Yeah, there's like you just there's there's like three cables you run. If you have the 4K P, it's pretty easy. You just you hook them into your computer and um you know you run that as your as your computer basically. You know, you're gonna use your 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 video your video outs of your computer to do the uh, video. Yep. I have a, like a, I know you have a video out there. Wagner has one. I have like a, yeah, little... Wagner has a real good video. It's easy to connect. It's just, I guess if you have the arcade control panel, it's even easier now because you don't have to install that X patter. Yeah. Yeah. If you have okay, that, man, you're all set. Now they got that where it's active. I haven't even reconfigured everything yet. Team across man, too busy playing. I'm still using X pad. I need to go reconfigure everything when I get some time. But uh, yeah, I mean, the only thing that's it's not hard. You just got to rotate your screen and stuff um, to yeah. play it on the ALP 4K. But none of that, all that's in the settings in the in the software and yeah, pinball FX and stuff. Yeah, they made it as easy as you could make it. I mean, really, especially installing the X pad in the arcade control panel, that makes it even easier. That's one yeah. less step you have. One less step, man. So it's pretty much almost plug and play now with that being yeah, installed. Yeah, very already. close to it. It's built. The cabinet mode is built into Pinball FX, and for Pinball FX three, you just have to send them an email and uh, show them that you have a cabinet to play it on. And then they'll oh, really? unlock they'll unlock cabinet mode for FX three. I think so. That's the way it used to be. I don't know if it's still that way. Why can't they just? Why isn't this? I now. think because they don't want people like uh, having businesses where they're like, um, I don't know why. I don't know why they do that, but they they did that. I don't know if they, they still didn't do, do it on Pinball FX or no, Pinball, pinball FX or Pinball M. The cabinet mode's built in. FX3, you just need to get a code from them. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's the only one like that. Mm. All right. So, yeah, Back to the Future is uh, the new. Whoops. Let's get in there in that tournament. Oh. Let's see how many players we got. Yeah, it's interesting. It does disconnect if you leave it idle. I guess that's not wasting the connection of the internet, huh? Yeah, I guess. Mine does that too. Does it? Yeah, I guess so. It's not wasting a connection. Can we get 16 people in here now? 16 oh. people already. We just started. Let's see what kind of scores we got here. All right. We got single. I've never seen single 2000 in there. Mm -hmm. 15. 15th. 6 million. Yeah. Look at Biggie D. 14. Biggie 7 D. Million. Good job. Then you get Mad Dog. Mad Dog. 15th, 10 million. Marine, Marine 50. 50. Mm hmm. 12th, 14 million. Uh, T Punk, mm -hmm. 15 million, 11. But these, and then there's a big jump. High scores on tap. Bam. 10 scores on tap. Double 31. the score. Doubling the score. 31. Then, million. <laughs> there I am. There I am. It. Almost 20, 20 million. I know. Double high scores on tap. Yeah. That's nothing, though, compared to what you got. I got my work cut out for me. You got missed. 50, oh, man. This missed just got you, man. 51, that. 51 million, you at 50. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Eighth place. And then Lord Donkey Balls, number seven at 53 million. Oops. Yeah, that's a good score. 53 million for Lord Donkey Balls. And like, he's like, yes, I beat Papa Brad. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. He certainly did. And you got Junkie Boy. Not Boys. over yet. It's not over yet. I'm just getting started, Team McCloskey, though. I'm just getting started. started. Yep. I'll be playing this all week. And then uh, Junkie Boy at number six at 90 million. He nice was, score. Yeah, he just like, a, like 50 to 90, million. 40 million more. Yeah. Yeah. Huge leap. 
Then fifth, 94 million. Oh, Powder Days, number five, top five. 94 mi- million. Top five for right now. Dan Z at 97 million at fourth. Dan Z. Pushing that 100, 100 million. 100 million score to start. And then. Coming in hot. Dan Z's coming in hot. Daily Dern, 105. Pushed, mm-hmm. pushed over the edge of the 100 million. 105 yep. million. Number three. And there he is, number two. Oh my goodness, Team McCloskey! Don't let it go to your head. We just started. Don't don't let, don't, don't get overconfident now. The sharks, the sharks, they haven't they haven't they haven't they haven't smelled the blood in the water yet. But uh, yeah. congratulations, yeah. being number two for now. At least I'm number two. Last oh, week, man, I think it was already one time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like that last week, I think I was already out of the top ten. Actually, <laughs> you get to be number one always because you post the you post the tournament until somebody plays your number one, I guess. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, you always get a pro did. Yeah, 114 million. Just had to be number one. Good job, Say just had to beat me before before uh, the show came on. That's fine. Now. Be number one, iron <laughs> sharpens iron, iron sharpens iron. You want someone to always push you. Yeah, yeah, I, I end up getting them five multi ball, uh-huh. five multi ball because it goes up, it goes from two, three to four to five. I got uh-huh. up to five multi ball. Yeah, it, it's just pure chaos with five balls flying yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Like, I gotta turn on the. I want to see those flames. I'm gonna turn those oh, ball dude, so on. Cool, I want to see that. It looks amazing. When I'm when we're watching the video, that looked cool. Yeah, you'll really like it. Hey, yeah, thanks. Jason just gifted Jason. five arcade talk memberships. Hey, here's my congratulations. Oh, it's back, suckers. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Woo. Canadian got a membership. Woo! All right. A train fantastic got one. All right, we know him. Dark Realm got one. Woo! Good job. And Design of Modern Life got one. Woo! Woo! I think that's it. Jason nice. is awesome. I do agree. Thanks. Jason is Thank awesome. You. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for those memberships. Thank you, Jason. And you see, can you dig it? Sucker's back. I know. So much so much Zen love. We haven't stopped talking about Zen since we started. We're, we're like in a Zen loop. And we got more Zen news after this. Dan Z said he had a six multi-ball. It was nuts. No blinking, sneezing or nothing. I know, right? Oh, I know. The multi-ball. <laughs> and the thing about this back like, in the future, man, it is multi-ball after multi-ball after multi It is great. It's so easy to multi. All you got to do is hit that, that center shot. And uh, charge up the uh, flux capacitor. Yeah, Couldn't charge it up. And uh, it's just great. This table's great. It's just like pure, pure adrenaline. Like you get, it's a long table though. Like, you know, when you get on a run, you might be playing it for half an hour, you know, or longer, 15 minutes. You know, some of these games can really, you can really get into a long game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the multi balls are cool, man. And all you can do is look at the flippers. <laughs> it's like the balls are like yeah, coming it's from everywhere, it's going everywhere. It'd be great just to watch, like like you when you, when I'm playing, I'm so into just not letting the ball drain. I mean, but the stuff's going everywhere. Hey, what's up, King Ed? Just showed up, and you guys, you two were shaking violently. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. <laughs> we got to do that, man. When someone gives away some uh, gift memberships for Arcade Talk channel, we got to do that. Yeah, I think uh, OBS uh, fixed her uh, issue. My micro dro- my microphone has not dropped yet. Good, good. good. Not Don't wood. touch Discord. Don't touch Discord, Team Class. Yeah, I dude, I ain't been on Discord. Don't in, touch Discord. Over a month. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with my score, but I know it's not going to last. But hopefully, I can beat my own score. Yeah, hopefully, I can beat your score. That's all that matters. And I'm gonna beat my score too, man. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna you, come for you. I'm coming. You and everybody else be coming for me up here. Number yeah, two. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch the at the midnight hour. If you pull out a second score, I'm gonna watch this time because that was kind of sneaky, Team McCloskey. Yeah. He's like, hey, he's a heads up that you pulled here. ahead of me at the con. I always give you a heads up every time I pull ahead of you, but you don't give me a heads up. I find out on the on the post the post uh, event. But Not that time because I I was trying to um you know sneak you by. I'm like, hey, here's my score right here. Then I'll sneak by yeah. that one. You did. You snuck right by me. I didn't. I didn't see. Like maybe you won't notice the second score. I was like, I was like, what the what? What the what? How does he get ahead of me? <laughs> but it's good. It's all good. It's fun. That's what it's about. Just having fun. Yeah, having fun. Push yourself to do your best. 
And every time you do that, you'll get better. I mean, I can tell you what, I'm a lot better player now than I was a week before. Like if I yeah, go to play creature now compared to a week before, it's like night and day. I mean, like I learned, I mean, I learned a lot about the table, about how to Me play too. the game. Um, <clears throat> I just really enjoyed it. I think, I think you need a week just to absorb the table with all that's going on. You know, it literally takes that long to figure everything out. Almost for me, it did. Yeah, like Hobby Hand says, he caught you sleeping, sucker. I caught you yeah. sleeping. Caught me sleeping, man. That's nah, good. good for you, though. I kind of like uh, threw this score at him here. Just look at this score. Just look at this one. Nothing yeah, else yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else see. Don't scroll up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. These, these aren't the droids you're looking for. That's right. Yeah. No. Carry on. Carry on. Nothing to see here. Move along. One D says, I'm coming to play tonight. Oh, King Ed said, uh, just put in uh, go to leave buttons. My HD ALP, very nice. Doing the Peanuts 4K ALP next. Do you notice any difference, King Ed, on the go to leave buttons <clears throat> and two-inch casters to both machines? Yeah. I love having the casters, man, especially since if I want to hook mine up to the OTG, man, I just I can just roll that sucker out. right over by your computer. Just roll it over yeah. there. <clears throat> so you know, easy. I see you get the black hole. I see the black hole turning in the background. Oh, you just noticed that. Yeah, it's 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 beckoning you to play to get sucked into the black hole. Really, that is cool. Good. There you go. There you cool. go. Wow, that's even better. Look at that. It's like a magic trick, T. McCluskey. Yeah, and I didn't know that. God lives only ones that do that, isn't it? They mm. like dim out after a while if you don't play yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. They don't go completely out, but it like dims. dims yeah. The light. Yeah, I thought to hoping you could see it because you can see it kind of like rotating back there. That's cool. <laughs> But it's kind of smushed. It almost needs to be stretched a little bit or something. Yeah, yeah. So you got all the Gottliebs now, huh? Yeah, I have not updated. I have not, the, you know, the two packs that I got free from yeah. that game. Yeah, I you didn't update them. Updates. Now, because I wanted to pick a table and see if there's any Oh, difference. that'd be a good vid. Yeah, there is. There's definitely a lot of difference. I noticed right away when I, when I updated them. Did you? Yeah, yeah I wanted right to away. Them. Yeah, there's a lot of updates I did. I want to pick... Uh, I forget which one I was going to pick. Mm. Uh, it was going to be T sector, but actually, after I saw real T sector pinball machine, I'm like, man, maybe that's not a good one because graphics weren't very good on a real pinball. Yeah, the original was not that attractive, honestly. <laughs> Especially that back glass is pretty hideous. But it's a great pinball. It's fun to play. Oh, it's fun to play. But yeah, it's, especially uh, once you figure it out. I don't know. Like to me, I don't understand why the, why they thought that was a good back glass. It's like it's futuristic looking. Like I don't know. It's just not not attractive. <laughs> It's kind of blurry, even on the real. Yeah, pinball. it is the real it's pinball kind of even that way. That's the way it looks yeah. in real life. Yeah, when I saw I saw some videos of it, I'm like, really? That's what it looks like in real life. And I'm looking back at the at games. I'm like, wow, it looks better than I thought because the real one doesn't look that. I good. think I think tomorrow, Team McCloskey. I think tomorrow I'm gonna get to play the real Wipeout pinball, the real one, the actual Wipeout Gottlieb pinball. I'm going to I'm going to Waybacks tomorrow to check oh, it out. I was gonna ask you. With they have they have Wipeout. So it'll be cool to play that, you know, because that's on the that's on that games. Oh, cool! Yeah, you, you better show some uh, video of that. Wait yeah, I'll, I'll film it. I'll film it while I'm out there. That'd be cool if you did a comparison video. That would be cool. That's a good idea. Yeah, that'd be really cool to see side by side. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool awesome to that too. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Okay, uh, well, since we're talking about Zen, I guess we talk about their new tables. That well, the new tables yeah. coming out announced today. Big announcement! Big announcement. Most of you probably already seen it. I just clipped the. Uh... Oops. You have the trailer. Yeah, well, I clipped it just to show the pinball. We can okay. play too later if you want, but I did clip out just to. What's up, Yo? Congratulations! Good score. Got Wyo yeah, coming in. Just got back from another track meet. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I remember those days. I used to run track. Okay, what did I do with it? I think it's up in with my all that all my other uh, stuff. I didn't pull it down. And pull it down, Team McCluskey. It's in with all my other YouTube stuff. 
Yeah, why the creature was a lot of fun. We're moving to Back to the Future. That's going to be the table for this next week. Oh, did he ask? Yeah, you said the creature was so much fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, what did I do with the... Yeah, K6VV is the um, tournament ID. K6VV. It just randomly generates that whenever you do the tournament, huh? Just yes. Just randomly creates a number, a letter, letter sequence for the yep. tournament. Mm-hmm. It's funny that. <clears throat> you know, forward. with the Back to the Future, I was thinking, one of the cool things that does let you select which time you start in. So, like, if they did it sequentially, not everyone would get to see all the different tables, all the different ways that the table changes. So, I think it is cool that they made it where you could pick which time you start in. Yeah. But some tables, you know, you don't get to see those modes unless you get there and that can be really challenging for a lot of people this one they kind of let you start wherever you want to start and then yeah, you can pick off one yeah you can start it right off mm -hmm. which is kind of neat they did it that way why well, i said is alphd is modded to back to the future that'll be fun absolutely send us some send us some pictures we'd love to see your uh modded hd to back to the future that'd be cool That'd be real cool. Yeah, I'd love to see that. <clears throat> Did you find it, T? Yeah. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, man, my back. So they have uh, three tables uh, they announced today, right? Three tables, and they're coming out Mar May 16th. May 16th. 16th yeah. is coming out. And now, I, I guess, I guess we're going to be doing a bunch of Is this like of, one pack that you buy, or are they all separate? Like, like you know, like the universal pack is one pack with all three tables built in one? Yeah, this is good. Um, all three are in one. It's uh, All three called, are one pack? Yeah, it's called TV Classics Pinball. TV so, Classics know, Pinball. Universal. Universal, universal yeah. TV Classics. Yeah. Yep. Okay, here it is. Here we go. One pack. Okay. <clears throat> One and then... Night Night Rider. Rider. There it is. There's Kit. It's got that cool music. A little different too. Yeah. I like the way that's like the track thing up at the top, the road with like the yeah. car running. That that's, looks really cool. That's really cool. You got a car scene, car fight scene. Cars fighting. It looks crazy. Fire turbo boost. Activate super pursuit mode and engage auto cruise to let the thing display. Multi ball. Look at that. That's nuts. I had to change the music up, Papa Brad. Yeah, uh, copyright claim. Yep. This one doesn't, though. The Xena does. And kings. There's Xena. Cried out for a hero. I like the pop ups on this one. They have all these pop ups, these Romans, these Roman soldiers. And that crazy looking ring you can shoot through that looks pretty cool. Yeah. She was Xena, a mighty princess forged in the heat of battle. Join Xena, the mighty princess, Lucy Lawless, killed by Callisto, Ares, and Caesar with the help of her friends Gabrielle and Joxer. Galactica has seen a lot of this. Sounds like Battlestar Galactica, man. This will be her last. Yeah, I was wishing they would use the 80s have to eliminate Battlestar Galactica. Threat. If you are yeah. a like Actually, I like this show. I watched this show. I was a huge fan of this show. Battle scene. Remake the search of battle scenes. Was it? Is that Edward James almost? He was in this, huh? Carry on. So say we all. Keep them at bay by fighting space battles and resisting subterfuge. 
You must keep everyone alive and reach the final goal, Earth. Bye, Here it it is. Universal Pinball TV Classics. Yeah. So there it is. What'd you think, Pop Brad? This is a must have. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what do I think? I think, hell yeah. Well done. You know, I'm you loving that one. Yeah. Which one do you like right, as of right now? Which one do you like the best? The For three? Initial, just just looking at them without playing yeah. them. You don't you never know till you play it, really. Because exactly. I mean, but um, I, I think the uh, I think the Knight Rider for some reason appeals to me the most, but I don't know. Got the music in there. You get Kit up there on a road. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Looks, looks different, you know. Yeah, it is totally looking different. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's cool that they had the road up there. I mean, they got cars flying through the air with explosions. This looks pretty cool. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's kind of a look of the table there. So you got where was the, the kit's voice? Oh, right here is where the uh, kit's uh, you know the car voice comes out right uh, here. Wow! So he even has the the lights on there and it all almost that. has like it almost has like a Williams look to it. Like it almost has like a retro kind of like a eighties pinball look or nineties yeah, pinball. That's true. It's I true, love huh? the way they did the table. I can't wait to play it, you know, but three good properties. they will be fun. You know, just more stuff to play. I mean, what's that the love? Kind of, I was just kind of looking at the DMD there. I guess it doesn't look like it's going to have any uh, scenes in the show, but it shows kit and stuff on the DMD though. Yeah, that's cool. DMD definitely looks a little different. <laughs> yeah. It's got like a computer. Play the video with it moving. See what it looks like when it's moving. <laughs> There's a car oh, there. Yeah, that is cool. That is cool. That's a nice DMD. Let's get the animated car located. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't really notice the. And there's a DMD there. In the time of ancient gods. See what her D and D look like. I'm looking at her. I'm looking at her D and D's. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was distracted there by that a shot from the front of the pinball. I'm this. This table's good for some big action. A mighty princess forged in the heat of battle. D and D's kind of neat though too. Has like uh. Show it again. A mighty princess. Four. Here's a DMD there. It looks like it shows the different characters and stuff. That's cool. In there. But yeah, I actually had to clip out the music, man, because uh, the original music they used got copyright. So uh, I used this music here and it didn't yeah. get copyright anymore. Yeah, but it good. doesn't sound that much different. <laughs> but it doesn't sound. I didn't even know it was different, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I even got the same guy talking. Yeah. It, it was, um, I just took a clip from one of their um, episodes. Oh, know, okay. The, the intro of the of the TV show. Well done, I, Dean I never even I could I thought it was the same video. Yeah, same music. Yeah. Let's see what the what's the galactic see so what your DMD looks like. Xena oh, is kind of hot. What do you think? You think she's hot? She's pretty hot. Xena? Yeah. Yeah. If you're a Cylon, I'd like to know. Yeah, of all the Knight Rider DMD looks definitely the best. It's like we got yeah. a mini game. Yeah, it looks like uh, You're shooting down the Cylons with the blaster gun with the with the, the guns. I hope they had their uh, voices in there. They gotta have the gotta have their voices in there, Pop Brand. Cylon we'll find voices. Out. Ro robotic voices in there. I'd be disappointed if it's not in there. But yeah, all three look pretty cool, man. There is only one way that this mission ends. We make mistakes, we will die. There aren't many of us left. Boom. On. So say we all. Keep them so say we all. You, you got to get to Earth, I guess, is the final final one. Earth, wow. That looks good. Got to get to Earth. 
<clears throat> yeah, they all three look fun. I'm I wonder what the price is gonna be. Ten bucks? It'd be ten or fifteen, I imagine. The Universal's normally fifteen, maybe. I can't remember. Either way, I mean, May sixteenth. It sounds like they're gonna do an upgrade on Pinball FX on May sixteenth as well. Um, looks like the um, inside, like your area there, inside mm -hmm. of Pinball FX, looks like they're gonna be doing some uh, upgrades or updates. To the that. interface, yeah, the interface they're gonna yeah. update. We can show uh, some. They of started. That. They started with talking about the interface. And people were like, oh, they're not going to do any new tables. Like, it was, I was, I watched this live. And people were oh, just, you yeah, they were like, they're not going to do any new tables. And then they released the video with all the tables. So I think it was good. They didn't really talk much about at games, though. They, they just showed it for a second. Yeah, for a second. Just for a second. But um, still pretty good. And so here's the. This guy is a producer of Pinball FX. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the new interface and stuff coming May 16th. Pinball FX. Thank you for having me today. And indeed, we are working really hard in our next update. And the big one, the really big one, is notification system. Notification system is going to be located in the home screen and is going to help you to navigate through the many features we have in Pinball FX. First of all, when one of your friends beat your scores in any table you love, you finally will have a notification. About. Okay, pause that right there. Team oh, McCluskey. No, no, Team right McCluskey. No more sneaking by Papa Brad. I want a notification. Post it. Damn send it. that to my phone. Papa Brad. Team McCluskey is trying to beat you at pinball. Get <laughs> on there and play. Get I'm out, out, you going to let stand. Are you going to let the stand? Off here. Get on that pinball machine and show them what's up. Now that, that is a good feature. No, cut it out. Cut it out. 100% that is the best feature they've ever done. When I was watching this, and they said that like, no! <laughs> it's great if you can set it to just your, you know, set it to your friends and stuff. That's going to be great. Yeah, it's just for your friends. You'll see it. Yeah, that's a, that's that a term cool. notifications disabled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when, so when I was watching this. I was like, oh no, I, can't I don't think you can anymore. disable them. Not going to me. You can disable them coming from other people. I think, but if you can disable them, that wouldn't be fair. What's the point of having that as a feature? I think it'd be pretty cool. More sneaking, no more sneaking by. I know I can't sneak by you anymore. Like, yeah, man, it. enjoy your enjoy your sneaking by. You got this time. <laughs> I was like, "What are you doing? I can't sneak by Pop Brand anymore." It's funny. This this one dude has his eyes closed. He's like, he's like, Ur. <laughs> look at him. He's like, wake up, man. I think, I think that's the guy that high scores in the tap almost got in a fist fight with. Remember when oh, he went it? to that thing? And he was saying he was talking to him. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he wasn't too happy. Yeah, I like that montage they have behind him. That's pretty dope. I like that wallpaper. <coughs> yeah, it is pretty cool. The theater of magic pinball. Look at that. So is it all like your little um things for all their pinball tables mm -hmm. that came out? I see Monster Bash and Fun House. Champions Pub, huh? Roadhouse, yeah. Roadhouse, yeah. So all the tables. That's pretty cool. Those must be the uh, little flyers that they have, the little uh, ad sheets for the different pinball machines. Yeah. That's a cool, that's a cool idea. What are they gonna do when they run out of space? I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, no more getting by Pop Brad. No more sneaking by. I have to uh, write this in. So turn that feature off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, enable that feature. Enable that feature. Disable, disable. Uh -huh. And you just have to press a button and you're going to be on the table beating the score again. Also, every time you're participating in any tournament and you're rewarded with anything like... So it almost sounds like you can click that notification it goes takes you right to the table. Okay. They just beat your score. Or okay. you know, your friend posts a score. If you're participating in any tournament and you're rewarded with anything like a cup or any collectibles, finally, you will time if you're participating in any tournament and you're rewarded for when one of your friends beat your scores in any table you love, you finally will have a notification about it and you just have to press a button and you're going to be on the table beating the score again. Oh, yeah. Also, so you just click on notification. I'll take it to the table. And you're rewarded with anything like a cup or any collectibles, finally, you will have a notification now. 
to see that and claim it from the home screen itself. That's Another nice. requested feature was because we have so many events in the game going on, after you created one, finally, we will let you know now if it ended and you can go through the scores of your friends on the leaderboards. Finally, my Whitewater top 100 score will be much more secure than ever, if I still have it. No, he's not. He's 385. He's not even close to 100. And what do you mean about the XP system? Oh, yeah. XP system is coming to Pinball Athletes as well. We really want you to reward the players who are playing a lot with our games with the new system where you get XP for meaningful activities throughout the game, like achieving table awards, playing on our new quest line feature, participating in any events or tournaments, or basically just playing on the table for a really long time. Now let's talk about the visual upgrades the game is getting. First of all, we are upgrading the store presence of Pinball FX to make sure that the storefronts and the new online presence representing the new, fresh, modern look what we are getting in May in Pinball FX. Because our studies have shown if players can find and engage with the pinball game in a store, they will do so. So we are creating this new, fresh look to grab as much players into our fantastic hobby as we can. We are also changing up the pinhole a little bit. Basically, you could... Yeah. So that's cool. They're, they're changing up the store. They're changing this up. The pin, what they call it, the pin home. Yeah, that's cool. Got a little arcades in here now, Papa Brad. Hmm. I, don't, I don't think you have arcades now. You can get it. That's cool. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, it looks totally different. Even the floor looks pretty cool. I wonder if you can uh, imagine. I wonder if you can redesign all this too. Everything you see. I think here. you can. Yeah, I think it's all customizable. It's pretty cool. The roof, roof the ceiling. Yeah. I know the carpet you can now. Oh, look, they uh, added more shells too. Yeah. Uh, right for now all you your collectibles. Have, for all your collectibles that you're collecting. Right now you only have three shells on the sides. Now you have one, two, three, four, five on each side. You still got the two here. But look, you got another screen here behind a pinball. Looks like you could probably um, change this up now too. Where's the uh, pinball FX? That's cool. Maybe. maybe. <clears throat> kind of a window there. So yeah, the new looks looks pretty awesome, man. The pin home. Yeah, I never knew what that was called. I never knew what this called that either. Learn something new every day. Get to the chopper. <laughs> yeah, you need subtitles with you guys, right? Carl says they're uh, they're from Hungary. Yeah, I'm, I'm like Danny. I'm I'm getting hungry too. Danny's I'm not from hungry. hungry. <laughs> I'm not from hungry, but I'm getting hungry. You're getting hungry. <laughs> I wonder if you can play, play these arcade. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. But yeah, definitely totally a new look, man. It's pretty neat. Yeah. I like it. To get a brand new one, to represent a modern and fresh look we want to introduce in Pinball Apex in May. And with the new look comes a new music as well. New music! Some uh, retro wave music. Of Sounds like Papa Brad music there. Wow. New UI development. Oh yes, with the new pinhole and the new music, we first are upgrading the UI to make sure we are reaching that point where we really want to be with pin. Oops, I kind of want to see that. So it's so quick. Okay, so this is all going to be new here too. All this stuff. Oh, they, he talked about this stuff claiming and stuff. It's like silver cup reward is ready to be collected. You can claim it right there. You finished thirteenth. In the tournament, check. And then friend beat your score by reaching 854 points. Play. Mm -hmm. So that's right there. So there you go. There's all the stuff they were just talking about. Okay. So it's going to be right there on your home screen, right in your uh, nice. in home. So it's, you'll see Team McCloskey beat your score. <laughs> Team McCloskey's up to his old his old tricks. He's back <laughs> up to his old tricks. You got to put him back down. Damn it. Hit play. You just boom, you go right into the tournament. This That's pretty gonna neat. Great. It's going to make it that much more addictive. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you'll feel more, that, you know, actually playing against people too, you know, with that. And that's the nice thing too, that, you know, because like right now when my tournament ends, I have no idea what time it ends. It just ends, you know, it's like now it ends, yeah. with this new uh, update. Yeah, I, want, I want to play. I want to play Creature and it was over. I want to play it and it was over. Yeah, it sucks because it's like, like I, I have no I idea. Play. But it's hey, like, yeah. it's good. Yeah, they needed to have that word. Keep switching it up, so we've got different tables to learn. And, hey, the tournament has ended. Well, thanks. Because like the, this last one, I'm not sure what time it ended. Um, the creature ended yesterday sometime, but I, I'm not sure what time. It never told me when it ended. It's kind of stupid. Yeah. 
at least they're fixing that part. So that's cool. It's all right there in that your uh, pin home page there. To make sure we are reaching that point where we would. And then this is changing up too. I guess really only the colors are truly changing. Um, kind of going, they're kind of going to like a purple and uh, orange look. Looks like interesting. We want to be with Pinball Affix for many years now. The new UI represents a fresh and new modern look, what we have in mind. I like so the way it says fresh. Definitely, uh, make sure it says fresh in a very entertaining way. A fresh. The new UI represents a fresh and new modern look, what we have in mind. <laughs> fresh. <laughs> Mm. Bumper distance combo. It looks combo. cool. I like the way you customize it all, and you pick whatever you have in there. You know, the guy, I can see Indiana Jones, the Velociraptor. It's right, flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got um, Mandalorian on one of my statues. Oh man, lucky you. Well, you probably have it too. I probably do. I, I you know, I have. I, I just want to play. Like, I mean, I don't want to play Dollhouse. I mean, it's I cool. cool. It is cool. It is cool. But I mean, I just want to get in the table and play. I mean, yeah. Look, look at my, look at my home, man. You know, got the Mandalorian over here. You know, wish I could take this thing off so I could see it. Look, I got the creature carpet. Uh oh, look, we started. I, I got to stop looking at the chat. I'm laughing because people are saying the chat, but it looks good. It looks good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. You know, playing in your dollhouse. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this car. I got the creature. Creature carpet, that is man. Awesome. Look at that. You got the creature carpet. Y yours is decked out. It's looking pretty That's, good. You need, you need another <laughs> statue over there, T. McCloskey. You're slow. Nobody you else has some, one so you got far. Some room, you got some room to put some more stuff out. You'll probably earn one with Back to the Future for playing this week. Maybe you'll get something you can put over there. Yeah, I've been bummed that there's not, a, not another uh, statue. Because not, not all tables you get statues. I think we're going to do Pinball M after this this tournament. There Zero is, cool asked when we're going to do Pinball M. I think maybe the next one we'll, we might do Pinball M. Not sure. We're not sure yet. We haven't talked about it. Yeah. It's on our list, though. It's on our list. We want to do it. So that's interesting. So there it goes. You can see my creature carpet. It's okay. It looks good, man. So Thanks. much... Uh, so much news for one show quite a bit they kind of dropped a lot yep okay a lot Finish of the table up. box uh, still present in the game our last couple of updates have been really nice and long with the patch notes can we expect the same for me Damn. absolutely one of our highest priority to squash those boxes as soon as possible and to maintain 120 plus tables in female graphics it's not an easy task but we try to do our best for our May update as well Sounds great. Thank you, Akash, for coming in. Thank you for having me. And we might have some more surprises as we go forward until the May update. So keep in touch on every channel we use. But now, how about a teaser on a brand new table right now? Yeah, what do you think this is? How about that? Any guesses, guys? What Pacific Rim. Be? Pacific Rim. Really? Yeah, because that thing, it's a thing on the robots, the fire thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a long time. This table will be like Kaiju, Kaiju battling movie. Looks like Pacific Rim to me. Rewind it one more time. I want to make sure. Uh, uh, that's what I'm guessing. That could be a giant robot. That could be the little generator thing inside of it. This time, we made it easy for you. This Nadine launch, they sure don't give us much, man. They made it easy for you. That wasn't that easy. A Jaeger? A Jaeger? Jaeger bombs. You got somebody that agrees with you. Yeah. It does look like a big robot. More donkey ball. Lower donkey balls. I think it's Pacific Rim. Um, yeah, that would we be have cool. someone saying Dune. Dune didn't have a big robot, did it? I don't think so. <clears throat> what, just, I, I love to have a carpet like that. In my room. Mm -hmm. yeah, can't wait. Yeah, Dune. a lot of people are saying Pacific Rim. That's what I thought when I saw it too. But I mean, I could be totally wrong. It's definitely Pacific Rim. They say. So win would be cool. Dude, I mean that that has appeal, you know. I mean, it wasn't like kaiju, the di dinosaur, like the uh, monsters battling each other type movies. Those are fun. 
I mean, they just came out with another one. There's a Kong one out right now. Yeah. Oh, look at this pub, Brad. What's that? Look what I found. What'd you find? What'd you find, Team McCluskey? You're digging. A, You're digging. I found a poster. You found a poster? Yeah. Pull that, pull that mug up. Pull that mug up. Let's check that out. What do you think? You remember when we told everyone they were doing black hole pinball and then they did it at New Wave Toys? Let's let's ruin let's ruin this uh this, this surprise. Zoom in on that robot's chest. Can you do it? I don't know if we can do it. Yeah. Can you zoom in? Can we make that happen, T. McCluskey? Can we zoom way into that chest? All the way into that middle chest piece. Oh my goodness, T. McCluskey. Look at it. Once again, we are we're like, you know, we're like letting people see Santa Claus's. We're getting people a sneak peek at the presents before they're even out. See, here's his arm. Here's yep. his leg. Here's yep. his leg right here. Yeah. Go back to that picture. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that, T. McCluskey. We've <laughs> solved it. It's official. Enhance, enhance. Zoom. Zoom. In. Zoom. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There. I mean, how can you? You couldn't have it be more obvious than that. Dang, that's awesome, Team McCluskey. Look at that. That is totally the same arm. Yeah. Okay, look at yep. that. And now play the part with the reactor. It's gonna be it's exactly the same. Look at that. That's a one for one. Look at that. Almost got the same size, too. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, so Pacific Rim will be the next uh pinball table that Zen will be releasing. Yeah, in case, you, in case you weren't sure, in case you weren't sure. We're cracking it right here in Arcade Talk. Yeah. So uh even got this red go. circle up here on his chest. See the red circle there? Yeah, the chest turbine gives it away, you know. Yeah. You know, when you see something like that, you know, yeah. What else could I, you know, I was thinking maybe Iron Man, but his doesn't spin around, you know, like that, I don't think. Yeah. It was definitely yeah. Pacific yeah. Rim. Yep. You heard it first here. Yeah, Lord Donkey Balls. He knew it. He knew what it was right away. Yep. Yeah, it's been leave, so long since I've seen Pacific Rim, so yeah. Leave it to Team McCluskey though to actually find the evidence. Yeah, find showing it. the evidence. You've shown a direct link. If you had doubts, it's if you had doubts, doubts, you shouldn't have doubts now. <laughs> no, it's like we did with the black hole. Yeah, it's May 16th. They said, uh, well, no, this one's not May 16th. Um, the TV classics universal was May 16th. Yeah, that one's to be determined, but yeah. Probably sometime this summer. Definitely like. Pacific Rim. Yeah. That could be a great pinball. Uh, it could be a yeah. lot of fun. All kind of stuff they could do with that. Sequel sucks, though. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a sequel. If I did, I think it might have been one of those I fell asleep watching. But the first one was really good. Pacific Rim was really it, was, good. it was nice to sleep, too. Yeah. That's what happens when you get older, Team Klosky. It's just <laughs> biology. You can't help it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, I would, I would say this is probably going to come out sometime in the summer. And then, like I said, the TV Classic is coming out May 16th. I guess they didn't really say a date for the um, upgrade for the like the, the lobby and stuff. for. Uh, yeah. But he, he just said May for that. Yeah. Well, I won't, I won't lose sleep over that update, you know. I mean, yeah. it's just, that's just a little uh, comfort, comfort of life, you know, just adding yeah. some extra features. Yeah, cosmetics. You know, you I'll, I'll, I'll take all that. That's all good. Yeah, it's all good. But I do like the notification. Um, you can claim your stuff like right there and all. Yeah, all that, that is good. You don't have to go everywhere, and that is kind of cool. And then they'll notify you when the tournament's over. That's, That's good. Cool. Yeah, so some of that stuff will be really nice. That's yeah, because April, man, it's just a little over a month away. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, Kit Night Rider. I know, man. Looks We've, we've talked about nothing but Zen for an hour and 30 minutes. I know, man. Crazy. It's crazy. Yes. Zen, Zen, Zen was dropping some heat today. Yeah. It'll be dropping more. Uh, who would have thunk it? A little over a we month. Haven't, we haven't even started talking about that games yet. I guess we can get to them. Oh, speaking of that games, they're uh, doing some prizes now. With their uh, 4K uh, Facebook page, 
So if you guys didn't know that, um, they're actually doing some stuff now. Um, let's pull that up. And somebody we know. It's exciting. They're doing some uh, giveaways. And we know, we know, know. somebody that's getting a giveaway. I know. It's like, it's like a one in 2,000, huh? Uh, yours? Uh, yeah. One, How many people, uh, were the 2,000 people on that wheel? That was crazy. They showed the wheel with it being spun. Did they? I yeah. Didn't see it's like you could either. There's like so many names on that thing. I can't believe I won. It's like a miracle. One random Crazy. group member. It was right. me. Oh, no. it's me. I won. The above member will receive a $25 at Games East store gift card. I was shocked. They showed the wheel. They showed the wheel being spun. It's crazy. Like, Damn. That wheel had a lot of names, Team McCloskey. I was yeah, very they, lucky. And they just announced how many uh, people they have on that page. I can't remember what it was now. They just reached. I thought, it was, I thought it was 2,000. Was it 1,000 or 2,000? I thought it was 2,000. Because that wheel had so many names on it. It was crazy. They had the smaller wheels, and then they had the, the big wheel. I was on the big wheel, so. And then they had top three March contributors. Mm -hmm. uh, so is that all those people getting uh, cups? The bubble members That's cool. The official at Games cup holder. So I think it's... All nine of these people I take okay, that's how I read it. So you had three March contributors, there's their top, and then you had six random group members, which anybody could be on that one. And then yeah, you that's cool. Do you recognize anybody's name? I, don't I recognize know. Brad O'Connell, I recognize that name. No, yeah, you recognize that one. I recognize that one. $25 cash money gift card. Yeah, I'll get something from the store. And look at the grand prize winner, Travis. Travis and will receive an ALP 4K wow, dinosaur, dinosaur dynasty. dynasty. Nice, and I think he's the one that did this drawing, wasn't he? I think he's the one that actually did this drawing. So I don't know if that's why they gave him this. I know he's a uh, one of the people that run help run that uh Facebook page. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I want to say he did this giveaway on there. So well, that's, that's, why that's awesome, man. I would love to be a grand prize winner. Yeah. Get a 4K pinball table. Man, that's nice. Oh, speaking of Dinosaur Dynasty, Pop and Brad. Speaking of Dinosaur Dynasty, uh -huh. guess what I saw? Bam, suckers. Somebody Bam, actually that's bought a Dinosaur Dynasty that. table. Somebody actually bought one, Papa Brad. I see that. I see that. The same picture as everyone else showing. But that's good. It looks Number good. Nine. Number nine. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So did they actually sell nine pump bread? Did they actually sell nine of these so far? No, there's ten. The tenth person is the one that won in the contest. Well, that's not really buying one, though. That's true. They didn't buy one. He won one. But it is number ten. Actually, so it looks it actually looks pretty good. Some I mean, people when I looked at the picture, I was like, damn, I don't see what the hate is. Doesn't look bad to me. It looks pretty good. And people said nobody bought one. We got one out here with a nine on it. There's one right there. There's one right there. Dude, I like the T-Rex. The T-Rex looks awesome. Wish you could see the thing a little better. But you can see the topper though. Dude, now when I look at these, all I can all I can see is uh they all need that buy stuff store decal, like that covers up the control panel. That makes it look so much better when they get that buy stuff store. Oh mine. Mine's still in the works, Pop Brad. <laughs> you're still in the works. You get a custom one, is why. You're going they're, custom. They're, you're going, you're going custom. You're going full custom. Get, you could probably get mad at me. You weren't good <laughs> enough to get it like the rest of us peasants. Uh, rest of us, but rest of us uh peasants getting the ones that they already make. You're getting something okay. custom made. Custom. Maybe, maybe I can't they'll wait uh, to see what you came up with, T McCluskey. Maybe they'll uh put it for sale after uh, I get done with it. Yeah, I was like, oh man, look really good. I'm like, can you just make this slight adjustment? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looks good, but I had to put the butt in there. Can you move yeah, this over yeah. a little bit? You just got a Jurassic Park thing for the control panel. It would look like a Jurassic Park table. Yeah, I mean, they should you make got one. the Jurassic Park graphics for the control panel. Yeah, because look what you got in front. You got a big old bug on the front here, and you got a pterodactyl over here. That's cool. Yeah. Like a volcano. They got, they got, yeah. The, I guess it's a big mosquito. Yeah. Oh, Dan, you can get that stern uh, plunger, man, from uh, Drexler Park. Cool. Get on there. I wonder if they'll ever figure out a way to make like custom plunger knobs for this thing. 
It's kind of permanently connected, isn't it? Um, I don't think it threads off or anything. No, I think you got to pop it off. Some people have popped these off and put in new ones. Huh. Because <clears throat> I think it's just, I, I think it's just, you know, snapped on there or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's just, you just got to pull it off. Because I've seen some people actually upgrade their plungers. Really? Wow. Yeah, somebody did recently on Facebook, I saw. But, yep. Yeah, so we know at least they sold nine of those dinosaur Yeah. Some it's people said, ah, I didn't sell any, but there's proof. There's yep. Proof. It's like having a Jurassic Park at home. Number nine. There it is. He even says Dinosaur Dynasty. I see that. February, February 26, 2024. What? End of February. Wow. Takes a while to get him over here. I guess so. Yeah. There you go. Well, there it is again. Number nine. <laughs> so there's at least proof that they actually sold a couple of those. And I think that's I think that's the second time they've given one away, too. Yeah. Didn't they uh, give one away during uh, Nod, the Dinosaur Dynasty one? I think so. I think so. Yeah. That's probably the second one they gave away that I'm aware of. Oh, no. They're trying to give them away, Pop Red. <laughs> they're trying to give them away. <laughs> Here. <laughs> hey, I'll take one. If they're giving them away. Hell yeah. I'll take one too. Oh, yeah. I'll take one all day long. I think everybody in the chat will never take complain. One. I'll never complain about that. Nope. No, I don't think it looks bad either. I mean, mm. hey, it's your, it's your, um, I tease, man. Your yeah. IPs, they, they can make his, you know, all those, all those, um, you know, Ice Age and Dr. Seuss. I'd love to see a Dr. Seuss one. <clears throat> I think that'd be so cool. On that one, I wouldn't mind seeing a multi, uh, multi um, table. Oh, no, no multi table. No, not even for no, Dr. Seuss. No, no, no multi Kate art. No multi art. Uh, make it theme it to one table, please. That's what about two. Like one on one side and one That's on the an other side. Eyesore. That's an eyesore. Don't do any of that. What about one on one side and one on the other side? It's like the There's same art. Titles on... they could do instead of doing that. Yeah, but they, they did on Star Trek. They got two different uh, artwork. Yeah, but it's still Star Trek. It's one thing. Well, that's what I'm saying with Dr. Seuss. You could do, uh, you know, one Dr. Mm -hmm. Seuss artwork on one side and do another one on the other side. Okay. Oh, you like split it that way? Yeah, I think. Yeah, maybe. Thing. But Dr. Seuss would look, it would look, even if it was a single theme one, it would look so damn cool. Can do a Grinch, though, because that's the too uh, Christmassy rather than to see. Yeah. Know, actual. Yeah. Like you want Grinch and I want Chucky. I, th I think we're on a different page here. I want more mature. You want you want less mature. You want Grinch. I look cool. I want, you want I want Grinch. I, I want Pinball M Chucky. Table. Nah, I don't want Grinch. I want like the Dr. Seuss. I think yeah. a horror table would be cool. Thing one, thing two. Classic cat and hat blue and red and white. It'd look cool. Now, now I'm not saying I'm going to buy one, but I think it'd look cool to see one. Yeah. Like Marie and Frisky, 50 said, if it's free, it's for me. That's right. But I really want Creature. Not Chucky. I want Creature Sucker. I just want to, I just want to play Chucky on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One D said, "I'll take one and resting it to a creature, making mm -hmm. it into a creature, I mean, most likely. I would take it and skin it to make it a creature of Black Lagoon. Mm. There are two people will say that. <laughs> this is the way. Two people said the well, same. It's thing. exciting that at, at Games came out with a complete schedule of all the stuff they're doing. It's pretty pretty exciting. Boom, suckle. And there it is. We brought it up." Oops. So what, what do we got to look forward to? Now, these dates are tentative. It says schedules for reference only and subject to changes. Subject to change. I mean, is this is a, is this a best case scenario? Uh, I don't know. I don't they've been, they've been holding the schedule pretty good, though, really. Yeah, they really, they really have. have been holding to it pretty good. Like, they gave an announcement the day after they, they were supposed to, I think. It was, they've been holding to it pretty good. Well, you know, on the 10th, Snoopy Pinball. Um, yeah. Uh, new boot up. Okay, so th this tenth is for uh, new boot up screen available for FX Legends 4K Peanuts Collectors Edition Pinball. We don't get an Adams Family new boot up screen though. That's been canceled, huh? Canceled Adam's family because of, of license. Because of licensing. Ah, well, give me Snoopy then, man. I want something. <laughs> yeah, give us something else. Give me don't Snoopy. Just, don't let's leave us in the dust. Give, give us, us a choice. Give us a give, choice. Us, a, give us a Gottlieb uh, kick on. Huh? What about a Gottlieb one? 
something. Hmm. I don't know, man. <laughs> or uh, they could they could do magic pixel. They could do uh, they could do the tables that come on it. Do a do a, do a, a another theme. Yeah, natural history pack. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone something. was excited about getting Adam's family like the custom, uh, the custom, uh, what they call it, the boot screen. Yeah, new boot boot up screen available. For, well, uh, we have a boot up screen, don't we? We have we have the Adam's family when it boots up. I thought they wouldn't have like a like a like a skin or something or like a, a theme for when you're actually in the table. Yeah, I think that's what that. I think that's what it is. Oh, that's a that's a whole theme, huh? Uh, yeah, it's not just when you turn it on the thing you see. That's there's actually be a theme for that. Yeah, that's the way they, you know, talked about it before. That's what it was going to be. Yeah, uh, that's not uh, just a boot up for it when you turn it on. So it'll have the interface will be a little different looking. That's cool. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. We ain't gonna be able to see it on ours, but I have to watch somebody else's video to see it. Unfortunately, because we ain't getting one. It does kind of suck. Well, maybe they'll give us something else. I mean, can't they do some kind of Adams family, but like a different Why Adams couldn't they just family? make it where you could select it? You could select which boot up screen you want. I mean, I wonder what license. Or does it have to be linked to the table permanently? I don't know. I don't do the licensing. Yeah, I have no idea either. But if you could pick one, like if you if you could like, I'm always for choice. You know, if choice is an option. Choice is good to have more choices, but you know, I don't mind the boot up screen the way it is right now. I think it's kind of cool the way it boots up with Adam's family. But if yeah, you have know, different ones. How cool would it be if you could switch it from month to month? Like, let's say the month Attack from Mars comes out. If you want to switch it to that Attack from Mars boot up that was an option i don't know if that's something they could do or not maybe exactly. they could maybe not i mean you, you can always do anything you want but it's, yeah do you want to do it <clears throat> but can't they do like another adam family that you don't have to worry about getting a license or something i mean i don't know which adam's family they can't get the license for you would think they'd be able to get the one from zen but maybe not maybe maybe the movie maybe there's issues yeah and that's using it in media like that i don't know I wonder if it would be if like you know the cartoons or whatever. I mean, you should be a way to around that, but who knows? Damn license. Yeah. License fucked us up, Pop Brand. Messed us all up. You bastards. Darn it. Everybody's gonna have a unique theme boot up on us. For the Adams family. We were the people that got it first. We were the early adopters. Where's the love? We get nothing. We get nothing. Nothing for you. Nothing for you. It's canceled because of license concerns. Dude, I'll take an attack from Mars if they come up with an attack from Mars boot up. I would they love are. to have that. It's coming out on the 11th. That'd be cool if you could select it. That's what I'm saying. Like I know it would be cool. It wasn't if you weren't locked into whatever, whatever, whatever theme. But well, we're not locked into theme because we're not getting one. So <laughs> yeah, we're not locked into it. Yeah, that's so true. the choice. You have a choice. <laughs> let's, let's switch up. That would be kind of cool. I only see, I see one date that's catching my eye. That's the 16th. Legends 4K pinball net dropping. That's that's the that's the date that gets my eyes. Oh, do you see the twelfth though? Uh, it's out on the twelfth. The Legends HD renovation uh, game packs. Oh, the renovation packs. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, well, get update. On, I guess it's not for the 4K. I thought that was for the 4K. Maybe not. But yeah, like you said, surprise tournament announcement too on twelfth. Okay, so they're going to announce on the twelfth a, a tournament, and the tournament starts on the sixteenth. I take it. Okay, that's good. It says surprise tournament announcement, and then the 16th says 4K pinball net soft launch. Oh no, oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Pinball net, duh. That pinball net, cool. that's when we get to get all my tables. Soft launch, yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, no more delays on that. Well, they got to beef up them servers or whatever they're doing because there's going to be a glut whenever that releases. Everyone's going to be on there trying to get their, their, their tables on their machine. And then here we go, new Zen. Studios Star Wars Pinball Legends Mini Pack. So this is going to be our first one on the 17th, the day after uh, Pinball Net comes out. 17th. So 17th, we're going to get the our next uh, Zen Studios Pinball Pack, Star Trek. So there's, what, three in that pack. That's the pack yeah. that has the, um, Discovery, Calvin Deep Space Day. Nine, and the Calvin Timeline, yeah. 
And that comes out on the 17th. That's exciting. So that's not far away at all. No. We're here at the 4th. We're less than... Uh, Get some Trek on. That's the two weeks. We got two Trek two Trek tables in one month, huh? Two different packs. You got that, and you got the next generation on the 30th. 18 Legend 4K pinball models are in stock for immediate delivery. Okay. So that must be because Adam's family is already in that state. So I guess the rest of the uh-huh. models are going to be in stock for immediate delivery on, starting on the 18th. Uh-huh. And in that's stock. Part. In stock, yep. Three to seven days you can get one. All models, I do believe. Starting on uh, 18th. And then the 19th, the surprise tournament that they announced on the 12th is going to start on the 19th. Surprise tournament begins. The 19th, so just in time for the weekend. That's perfect. And then April 25th, Legends HD renovation game packs launch. So there you go there. And then on the 26th, Legends 4K retailer update. I don't know what that is. So they're going to be going to stores, retailers, which stores will be carrying them maybe. It says Legends 4K retailers update. So they're going to have some retailers that are going to be selling these uh, pinballs. Oh, that's when they're going to announce Costco and all that? I guess. I mean, how would you read into that? That's what it sounds like because retailers. I mean, retailers, yeah. Retailers, I'm thinking stores. Yeah. Update. So they're going to give us uh, where you can get these maybe. Mm-hmm. That'd be awesome. And then on 20, well, I guess through the 26th through the 29th, Legends HD and Legends 4K April sale. Oh, so we got a sale coming up, Brad. Oh, man. 26th through the 29th. Save up your money. Mm-hmm. I'm going to save them. Yeah. Get some pinball packs for cheap. And pinball packs. And other things as well. We'll take any discounts or good. Yep. And then there you go on the 30th. New Zen Studios Williams Pinball Star Trek, the next generation table delivered to FX Legends 4K CEP pre order customers. Wow. wow. Oh, so that's not for everyone. That's yeah. not for everyone, Team McCloskey. You're not going to get your grubby hands on it then. <laughs> it says, it says delivered to CEP pre order customers. That's not us. We're not CEP pre order customers. No, we're staying. Uh, I spoke too soon. I saw it on there. I thought everyone was getting it on the 30th. No, just uh, FX Legends 4K CEP pre-order customers. Well, the dream pop, they, don't have, they don't have the table yet. They won't have the pinball table yet. So they'll have a code and they won't have a table to put it on. Well, isn't the table supposed to be coming out before then? I don't think so. Is it out? The Star Trek? Let's go back. Let's go back to the schedule. Am I Am I crazy? Okay, here is What's Star Trek dropping. Uh, March 29th. So, uh, if you order it between November 23rd and November 30th, you can uh, payment links March 29th. Oh yeah, and then uh, yeah, April 4th, April 15th is the last uh, payment links going out on April 15th. If you it had the SSF kit oh, installed, okay. so they should start. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe people will have them already. Have, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I imagine the people got the payment links on March 29th. I would think they should start seeing uh, the Star Trek. Anybody in here get Star Trek? Get their uh, pinball table yet? They, they should be start showing up. But they're going to already have it installed, so it wouldn't be for those people because they're going to have yeah. Star Trek on their table on their machine. You would think. But I guess it's for Peanuts and Attack from Mars. See, because Attack from Mars. Uh, all those were supposed to go out by April 15th as well. Uh-huh. All, the payment, all the payment links. So we don't we don't get the pre we don't get the we don't get the Star Trek next generation pop bread. Doesn't sound like on the 30th. Doesn't sound like it. We could be wrong, but I mean I see it on the calendar, but if you read it, it says it's delivered right for FX Legends 4K CEP pre-order customers. That's it. That's it. Not us. You have to wait a bit longer. So you got the Star Trek tables coming out next this this month, next month this month coming up. Star Trek, the three tables. Yeah, that, that's on the seventeenth, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. New Zen Studio Star Trek Pinball Legends Mini Pack launch on April seventeenth. Less uh-huh. than two weeks. Less than two weeks from today. But they do have this uh, picture too out there. Let's see what this says. Oh, okay, so yeah, here we go. 
um, April 17th for the one, and then Next Generation is May 15th for everybody else. Okay. CEP pre-order customers, which I think Hack from Mars and Snoopy, they get it on the 30th, and then we get it two weeks later. Huh. But our dreams, Bob Brand. Oh. And then May 22nd, yeah. Twilight Zone. Cool. And then Godzilla versus Kong on May 29th. Oh, so they're going to drop pretty quick then. Yeah. 15th, 22nd, and 29th. That's pretty quick. It's like each week there's something dropping, it looks like. Almost, yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah, they are. If you look on the calendar, they're all, all week Wednesday. apart, right? Yeah, they're all on Wednesday. Okay. May 15th, yeah, they're all week apart. So they're dropping a week at a time. That's cool. Yeah, we week. have we have not heard of a date for the Attack from Mars table to purchase is going to drop. Zero cool. We have not heard a date yet for Attack from Mars. Well, it does say right here, uh, Legends 4K pinball models are in stock for immediate delivery. That's April 18th. Mm. So does that mean Attack from Mars is going to be part of this? It says Legends 4K pinball models are in stock for immediate delivery. Maybe. I know they're, they're going to try to switch to like a uh, immediate, like you, like a uh, in stock. You buy it right now model as opposed to a pre order model. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to do pre orders anymore going forward. Mm -hmm. If they have them in stock, you can buy them. If they're not in stock, you can't buy them. Yeah, I don't know if I have that clip or not. That's interesting. What do you think about that, T. McCluskey? What? that that in stock model i don't know i mean it's like so if you did a see a you know creature from black lagoon you're not going to do pre-orders you're just going to drop it yeah so do you yeah the thing about pre-orders allowed you some time to kind of get everything together yeah i just don't understand i don't know it's kind of an expensive uh, object to do that but we'll see how it goes i mean i mean i know you can I don't you know. know. Let's say have a way here somewhere in the United States that they could skin them somewhere. So now Marine Fifty is saying uh, Marine Fifty is saying they don't want to give discounts, and I don't know if that's a hundred percent part of it. They might still do discounts when they do events and stuff. And they they're always doing sales. No, it seems like Act Games is always doing sales. Um, so I don't know if that I've heard that criticism, but I don't know if that's a hundred percent true either. I mean. What's that? Maybe, maybe it's just it, oh, it yeah. is. Look how complicated it is with all these dates and everything. I mean, yeah, what's up, know, Chuck and Chum? If they go to like an in-demand model, where like if you buy it, if they have it, you can buy it and it's in stock. I mean, the only other thing I think it might be good about is it might make them more uh, collectible and more desirable. Like New Wave Toys does that, right? Yep. They pretty much they they make a certain amount when they get them, they sell them. And they move on to the next thing they're making. They don't. They don't. Re they don't recycle for the most part. No, but they do do pre-orders though. Yeah, they do pre-orders. Yeah, they do the pre-orders and. Uh, and, and then yeah. whatever extra they have, they sell. Yeah, and that's and they, it. They add. Yeah, you know, they say they make another they extra. Move to, some, move to something new. Yeah. You know? the, I don't know. It's interesting. But you know, they they could say the you know, the first four days. Um, they're out. You can get it for you know a cheaper price. They might do something like that too. Yeah, you never know. Like the first four days, it's this price, and after that it goes up. They could do something like that. Yeah. But they say and they guarantee three to seven days delivery after you order it. So that tells me that do they have somewhere in the United States that they can skin these as people order them? Because you ain't gonna have a bunch of these sitting around hoping that somebody's gonna buy one. I don't know. That's that. That's what they would have to do if they go to that model. It seems like you'd have to have a warehouse full of them. And, or uh, you have a, a somewhere that you're skinning these yourself when people are ordering them. Yeah, I don't know. Because that yeah, artwork, yeah, that artwork hard, is yeah. very well done. I don't know if that's some, something they do at the factory. I mean, it seems like they put in the box with all that. I can't imagine someone manually doing that. But you ain't gonna get these things from. I don't know, man, because then you, you run in that like arcade one up where you have a bunch of NFL blitzes sitting in the warehouse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they'll make something like NFL blitz, and then they're stuck with them. 
that could be good and bad, you know? Because it, it, it takes nothing to skin these. Because you just have one, two, three. You just have five panels in a topper. It would not take much um, to have a little place to have these. Jason oh. says if they if they start holding on to tons of them, you'll see more frequent discounts because storage is expensive. Yeah. They may ultimately reverse course. Yeah. Unless they have somewhere in their system. Unless they have a plan. They might have a plan that's going to work good. You know, maybe they have a plan, you know, and uh, it's going to work out good, you know. Yeah, and you know, I don't know if it's done. Think or not. about your skinning thing too. Is like all the back glasses are different too. Like, how would you even do that? Every back glass is different art. Yeah, but it's just four screws. It, the whole front, the, where the monitor is, would have to come off. It's different. It's it, the bezel that's around the uh, the 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 back glass. Yeah, but it's it's just the screws. I don't see them doing that. You I, just I think they, they would have to have the models and stock them up. You know. I don't know. They were doing it now at the factory. How'd that work out for a K1 up? Not very good. Like you were saying, they get stuck with models. I mean, they were choking on big blues and killer instincts for so long that, and blitzes. They didn't know what to do with them. Yeah, I remember I got, I got my first killer instinct for 150 bucks. How successful was that? You know, when, when you're blowing it out for 150 bucks, I mean, that that's not a, that's not a model that works out for them very well. Yeah, flipping the back glass uh, wouldn't be much either. You're just talking a couple mm. screws. You either do one or two things. E either you stock them, and 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 you hope you ordered the right amount. You don't get stuck with them. Or worse, Team McCluskey, you don't order enough, and the people that would want to buy them cannot get them. So they're those those are two negatives, right? Someone wants to get it and they miss it because it sells out. Which happens. That's what happens sometimes with the new wave toys stuff. And then you got the people that then they then they have the problem with maybe we order too many dinosaur dynasties or I, everyone always picks on poor dinosaur dynasty gets picked on. And you're picking on uh, it too. We ordered too many. Uh, we ordered too many Adams family. So I'm just <laughs> gonna change it. And uh, we got too many of these Adams families. Um, you know and that might not be a, that's a bad example because that's the standard one that they're always gonna have. But let's you pick a different model. Let's say Star Trek or Attack from Mars. They're Maybe. limited by number anyway. Yep. I don't know. We'll wait. We'll have to wait and see how it works out for them. I mean, it is good. Like if you could just buy one, that's good. You know. Yeah, I mean, like, right now they're doing. Right now they are doing them at the factory. Um, as they got pre-ordered, they were slapping them on there. It's just a lot of people I know, they were like, oh, I got my order in. And then I, you know, I'm saving up for, I'm ready for my invoice to pay. You know, a lot of people kind of, they put that pre-order money down and then they plan on that big payment later. Yep. It's just a different in thinking, a different way of thinking about it. You know? Well, I know that company they use over in China was putting in a, a place up somewhere, Wisconsin or somewhere. I can't remember where we're uh -huh. going to go. Where do these pinballs come into the country at? Where are they shipped from? They shipped from yeah. China. No, China. Well, where do they where do they store them at? Where do they get them off the off the boat or whatever from China? They land somewhere and they have to be stored somewhere at least for a little bit, or they just immediately go to the end destination. They never go to a warehouse. Well, if you're going to have some in stock, they have to go somewhere else. I I always felt they had one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast. Dude, these are some big things to stock, too. I mean, can you imagine a warehouse full of these? Some big but, items. But, you know, the company they use over in China, they were going to um, have a, a factory here in the United States. So if that's the case and that's open already, this would be a no-brainer then. This is like, okay, they're going to do it over here in the United States. But I'm not sure if that factory is open yet or not. Uh Forget where they were going to put it. The fries says tables that don't sell well isn't a big deal at all. They all they have to do is reskin them, which isn't that hard to do. True. Yeah, maybe. Or they're reskinning them over here. They're coming over blank, and then they're uh, putting the skins on over here. Yeah. So you just have a bunch of. They do blank. a good job with art, so. They have a bunch of blank. As good involved. a job as they come. I mean, I've been very happy with my artwork on the Adams family. Oh yeah. But anybody can do that. I mean, you can hire any. any uh, Dude, I couldn't do that. that. Maybe you give me some decals and you tell me to make it look like this thing looks. I couldn't do that. 
Team Puff no. got a, a bubbles all over it. It would look so bad. I'd be I'd have to hang my head in shame if I did the if I did the graphics. Well, that's why they're not having Papa Red do there. It would have some no, company no, no, do, it. Papa do it. I mean, I, I was lucky I could get the uh my my buy stuff store uh control panel decals came out perfect, but I, I was lucky that I was able even to pull that off, much less skin on the whole thing. Yeah, and they would have a company do it. There's tons of companies out there to do decals, so yeah. So they can do something like that. Like I said, if that factory is open that they use over in China, that if this factory is open up here in the United States, it's well, there you go. It would be that because they're doing it here anyways. But so what do they, they call could, that? Is it the in demand model? What do they call that model? They had a name for it when they announced that announcement. Do you have that announcement? Uh, I'm not sure if I have that one or not. Did you pull that? Did you pull that piece up? <laughs> One thing we didn't talk about, I know we just skipped out of Zen, but did I ever talk about on here my poll I did on my channel? I did a poll, T. McCloskey. This is regarding OTG. It's Pinball FX3 better than Pinball FX OTG running on the Adams Family Legends Pinball 4KP. What do you think? This is from my viewers, okay? You ready for the poll? Yep. 26% said Pinball FX is the best on the 4KP. And 74% said Pinball FX3 runs better on 4KP. So I thought that was an interesting poll. 74% like FX3 better than Pinball FX, which is the newer model, which is the newer software. Yeah. But it is anyway, I never mentioned that on the show. I did a poll and I, I forgot about it. I had to go back and look at, look at it, but a lot of people voted in it and I, I didn't want it to go unheard. I mean, that was just from the votes. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like both of them. They both run good, but um, the FX3 <laughs> does run really smooth with even an older computer. I think the Unreal Engine is more is more demanding. It's more oh, power yeah. hungry. I think I think the Pinball FX engine is a lot more hungry for power. So. Yeah, the Unreal Engine 5.1 is really demanding. Let's see. I don't think I missed much on that, but. Yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely Marvel and Star Wars are giant segments of the pinball library of Zen that aren't represented right now. And retailers, let's face it, retailers, they're going to want them big properties, right? I mean, yep. if you're a retailer and you say Mandalorian pinball or, you know, Star Wars trilogy pinball, that probably is pretty easy to sell to a retailer, you know? Yeah. A lot easier than trying to sell them something, you know, that they haven't heard of, you know? Marvel and Star Wars tend to sell things by themselves as properties. They're, they're big, big properties. Well, thank you, uh, YO, for... Uh... Being in our tournaments, he said, uh, before I forget, I wanted to say thanks to you too for putting these tournaments on each week. Really enjoying oh, Absolutely, the man. I'm learning come to play. Table. Come play. I mean, we love, we love having the players. We want to have all the players join us. Um, the thing is, you know, that's how you get better too. You know, if you want to get better at pinball, play in the tournament. You know, you, you got to have something to push you to get better. Yeah, I think uh, starting next week or the week after, I think uh, we're going to uh, start giving away like $10 gift cards. Oh, nice. For the winner. We'll do something like that. We'll have to figure it out. I, I like to do like at least a winner and then maybe a one random. Um, yeah. Like $10. dollars This is like my whole month's uh, YouTube income, Team McCloskey. Yeah, same here. But it'd be kind of cool because most packs are $10 too. Yeah, so that'd be cool. Other pinball packs if you want or you know whatever. Yeah. Maybe we'll do like $10 and then a random $5 or another random $10 <clears> Yeah, for everybody. So, That's cool. And yeah, you know, more money we make will maybe add to the pot as well as we go forward. But I think it'd be kind of stepping up the competition a little bit, start giving a little bit of gift cards away. Yeah, you yeah. Did one already, you uh, gave the one away on the first. Yeah, one. I gave away one on the first one. I think Yo won it straight out my pocket. Yeah. Yep. So here it is. Here's the announcement from uh, At Games. Um, mm -hmm. We're shaking things up. Say goodbye to pre-orders and hello to instant gratification. Their new pay in full. Purchase model. Pay in full purchase model. Faster, simpler, yeah. just better. <laughs> so 
Starting April 2nd onwards, we will no longer offer pre-order options for any of our future new products for both digital and physical goods. We will only operate on in-stock inventory. Your experience with us will become the regular three to seven days, depending on your location, for physical goods and almost instant, a few seconds for digital goods for when you when you purchase, which they're, they're pretty quick about the digital already when you buy a pinball pack. Yeah, that's like almost instant. Yeah, you get the email so quick. That takes a little bit. So they're saying to start on April 2nd. Hmm. But physical goods, you can't go out and get a Attack from Mars pinball machine right now. No. It's still on pre-order status. Still on pre-order status. They they kind of should have maybe waited until all the 4K pinball machines are out. Okay, then this new practice. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, like like I said, I mean, the thing that was good about pre-order, you knew if you put your money down, you were guaranteed to get one. You know what I mean? Now Now it's like they have a hot property. Okay, Team McCloskey, they do Creature from the Black Lagoon. We want that, right? So oh, man, we might miss out, sucker. They <laughs> drop it next month. Yeah, you know, maybe you don't have you know eighteen hundred dollars to drop into a pin a second pinball machine immediately. You know, I don't know. It's uh, there's benefits and drawbacks to it. You know. Yeah, we might miss out, man. Like say Seems you're like at work, you might miss out. You know, that's the bad part about it. You know, <laughs> for me, you might have to wait a month to get the money up. Or even worse, you know, like maybe you're at work when they release it. You know, and boom. You have, to wait for, gone. you have to wait for wave two. <laughs> Too bad, sucker. I don't if there is like wave that. two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with pre-orders, they knew like, oh, there's this much demand, you know? Okay, this is how many we have to make. Yep. We, we, yeah, we need to make this many. But and with you're this, guaranteed. I mean, you're guaranteed I don't to know. get it. I don't know. Yeah. I hope it works out for them. I, 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 have, I have arcade went up flashbacks here with uh, <laughs> warehouses full of uh, – Warehouses full of NFL blitzes stacked to the ceiling from floor to ceiling, as far as unless, you can see. Unless you know, they're they're uh, they mean, got a unless they got a contract with a company. That better have some good forecasting. Maybe or they you, do. You know, maybe they got to figure it out. I don't know. They might have a partnership with a company here in the United States, so they'll put the art on. I mean, you just don't know. We don't know. It could be that simple as that. Because then, you know, you just have blank things. Oh, okay, they just ordered a peanut. Boom, slapped artwork on it. Oh, we just got a Star Trek. Boom, put that artwork on. It could yeah. be something like that, too. It could be something like that. That could change the game for them. Then they would have everything in stock almost all the time. If they did that. Yep. Yep. I mean, that would that would help. That would help sales. Oh, yeah. And it yeah. help your inventory. You want to have to have mm-hmm. high high inventory. You'd... My, my biggest fear is that they they would do this and then they would order a ton of them and they get stuck in warehouses and then they they then they have discounting and stuff and you know I'm fa- I'm for everyone getting a good deal but it's not good for the company long term you Unless know have- I mean you're hemorrhaging you're hemorrhaging your profit and stuff you know when you're storing stuff um for a long period of time yep unless you uh have an agreement with the company even know. retailers are that way too like like when i got my uh when i got my my second aou is it was really because uh sam's they wanted that space for barbecue grills they didn't care what they wanted that area they wanted it gone you know it was like it was definitely like there's no way they were making money you know i mean it's like they sold it cheap you know it's just like that's the way the big retailers some of them are you know that's you know it's that's the cool thing about this. Um, the space is money to them, you know? Yeah. The floor space is money. But the cool thing about like all these 4K pinball machines are all exactly the same. All you have to do is slap different art on them yeah. in, top, in the topper. That's easy. Yeah, that is true. They're all basically all the same. They're all the same. They just have different artwork on them. Mm-hmm. So You just ship them blank, have a company... Uh, Start work on. That's it. See that, that that saves you space, everything. If you if if set up that way, because I know with the factories over in China, that's how they do a lot of these pinballs, uh-huh. um, V pins. They're blank, and then when somebody orders them, they slap the artwork on them. They ship. Huh. Them. That's how they do them over there in that's China. So. so if you have a company over here doing that, it would be pretty easy. You just ship over the blank ones from China, and then uh-huh. the company slaps the artwork on. And then ships it out to the customer. Interesting. Customers. We'll find out. See what they do. But yeah, we, we pay in full purchase model. We're going to. 
Instant gratification, Papa Brad. Yep. And it is like I said, instant gratification if they have it in stock when you can pay for it. Yep. You know. But if they do the scenario I'm talking about, they'd never be out of stock. That's true. Because they're just That's slapping true. artwork before it goes out the door. Yeah. Okay, that's all I got. I got nothing else. Sucker. That's all we got. That's enough, isn't it? That was plenty. That was plenty. That's plenty. We got the uh, we got the Back to the Future pinball live right now, right now. It's only ten thirty at night. You got lots of time to play. You can squeeze in a game right now. Unless you got to go to work. Back to the Future pinball. You could squeeze in one game before before you go to bed. Oh, yeah. work. That depends on the ball drain. You might get multiple. Yeah, yeah you, you, unless you have an epic game, you know. But yeah, this is a great this is a great tip. I, and it was cheap. I bought it for the PS4 and I want to say it was like 349 Team McCluskey for three tables. Oh, really? I didn't look at my PS5. For the universal pack. It was like under five, I, I want to say it was 349. Don't don't hold me to it, but I swear it was 349. Uh, what's I, got e. T., I got ET. I got ET Back to the Future and Jaws. That was a heck. That was a heck of a bargain. I was like, "That's not bad." I mean, see, uh, I had to dust that PS4 off. I was worried if it even start. Like that, I told you, I'm not, I didn't. We didn't say it online, but it'd been so long since I had turned my PS4 on. I had all these updates. Okay, um, I have some games on a hard drive. My hard drive didn't want to work, and then I had to, like it was the whole process. But uh, yeah, I turned on the console to try out some of these pinball games on the console i have a ps4 do they have it on sale right now on steam i, I think on playstation it was on sale yeah it sounds like it's on sale yeah that's what i was looking to see the universal on. pack it's a creature creatures 4.99 monster bash yeah, that's a good pack it is on FX3. I think that they show both. Yeah, the FX3. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the FX3 is 999. Um the price of the FX is probably the same price. <clears throat> yeah, they're both. Yeah, they're both 999 right now. Okay. Maybe it's just a PlayStation store thing. I don't know. Seems pretty yeah, reasonable. It could, be, it could be on sale. Because remember, this was on sale. Two weeks ago on that, they had a uh, spring, spring sale. On there we go. Look at this retro arcade trooper got on for three dollars and 49 cents on the PS5. What a great deal! So, I'm saying if you've got a PS4 or PS5 and you're going to play it on console, that might be a console to scoop it up on because I was like, that's it. I mean, for the less than the cost of a decent hamburger, I can have uh three pinball machine tables. I'm like, yeah. sign me up. Team McCloskey, it had been so long since I had purchased something, I had to re enter card info. <laughs> I mean, Not really? The, the whole thing with my PS4 was like a neglect. I mean, the neglect showed tons of updates. I mean, just to get it logged, just to get it all started back <laughs> up, you know. I guess because they're constantly updating home consoles, you know, and I, I don't yeah, really play them that much. I play arcade games mostly or the pinball. Um, but, yeah. uh, but yeah, that that's not a bad way to go. It's if you want to just play three dollars forty nine cents. PS four, PS five. Because it's ten bucks right now on Steam, so it's uh, yeah, might be the cheaper way to go if you're gonna buy it on console. I don't know. I don't know if it's on sale on other platforms. Yeah, Car PlayStation it was on sale. What if it's on sale on Xbox? Car O would know. I don't know. I don't do Xbox. Yeah, I don't either. He has it. Do I don't do. I don't know any Microsoft. You know what happened? I I used to be a Microsoft fanboy. I had I had always had Microsoft stuff, starting with the original Xbox. Then the hacking community figured out how to make mod chips. <laughs> guess what happened, Team McCloskey? I modded all those mugs. Xbox and then then gotcha. then the, yep. Then they caught me and they gotcha. took all the games that I had bought and they banned like the, the not only the games, not only could I not go online anymore, but the games that I bought. I lost, and that left a really sour taste in my mouth. So well, you uh, did it. 
I told you not to. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> There's plenty of fishes. Yeah, I, that's when I switched to PlayStation. Oh, is it? I was buying stuff, Team McCloskey. Buying stuff's better than not buying stuff. They took away the stuff I'd already bought. Oh, I got it, more. it was digital. It was digital. So they basically uh, took away my access to the things that I bought. Ridiculous. That was the last straw. Last straw. Anyway, I'm more of a, I like emulations anymore. And I, I like arcade games. So I'm good. Okay. There was a update on uh, at games, ALU 4k. Boom. Come in quarter four, 2024. And look who we have. We have the beautiful artwork. Woo, woo. Artwork is hideous, woo. Team McCloskey. It's hideous. Look at that. Awesome artworks. That Good artwork artwork. is hideous. That cannot be final artwork. That is. If they're gonna stick with that, they're gonna, I mean uh, coming quarter four. So you think it's coming quarter four, or you think the pre-order that's coming? gonna be an in demand model too. They're gonna have they're gonna have warehouses full of them. If they keep that artwork. It's not going to sell well. I don't think it's going to do well. Let's see if they they're going to have here. warehouses full of those things if, if they keep that artwork. They need a. I mean, it pulled so bad on my channels. Okay, so here it goes. Here it says your excitement for the Atkins Legends Ultimate 4KP has become incredible. We share your enthusiasm. Originally, we were planning to launch pre-orders early this year, aiming to get those devices out to you by the end of the year. Our new improved plan is to still aim to deliver machines by the end of 2024, but to skip the pre-order phase. Oh, wow. So see, look at this. Skip the pre-order phase and offer it on our e-store when it is in stock. It will be straight up. First come, first served. There you go. So they're not going to pre-order this either. Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, read some comments out of our chat. I love it. Yeah. Retro arcade, Retro arcade Trooper. Read his. Or Jason. Read Jason's comments. They both say the artwork looks great. It looks fantastic. Yeah. It's very Wait. early, and I have a feeling. A new, this is from Jason. It's very early, and I have a feeling a new design will create more excitement later on. Shape and specs are already known. I think the graphics will be updated. Just a gut feeling. I think the graphics still need work. It's my opinion. Retro Arcade Trooper says the artwork looks good looks he doesn't say it looks good it says it needs a different skin <laughs> you know it should be leading with the battle toads anyways but this is definitely needs rework i wouldn't move off my alu for this i can reskin space evaders yeah it looks great, it looks great. team mccloskey do you need some glasses or something i just don't like this ip so it don't matter to me yeah yeah wouldn't matter yeah. Looks great. I love it. I love the purple. Yeah. I love the orange. I love the lightning bolts. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. What we saw though, man. I didn't think it would look bad because I never I don't have any uh dude. Okay, I'm just gonna say it one more time. There's no purple on a killer instinct one or two arcade cab. I literally have the videos to prove it. And I'll go some more footage three. tomorrow of real killer instinct cabs, and you'll see there's no purple on it. None. I can I can show you ones out in a while that do have purple on it. The that's not using original artwork graphics. That's using oh, some something using that's Microsoft. not original. It's there's no nostalgia in a custom graphic. You know, you want it to be like it was released in the arcade. You want it to have that look. I've seen some in the arcade with a purple on a little bit of purple on the marquee. Well, they, they skinned them with the wrong art. What do you want me to tell you? I mean, yeah. I have it has Microsoft on it. Yeah, well, Microsoft, you know, they, 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 it was a Midway arcade game is what Killer Instinct was. Oh, I know. But when Microsoft... Are they out, putting the newer versions, the Microsoft versions of Killer Instinct on there? Now, that's a different story if they were doing that. But from what my, my, my understanding is these are going to be the arcade versions no, of I Killer mean, Instinct and Killer Instinct 2. It's a Microsoft version. They're not putting the 2013 or whatever Microsoft one on there, are they? Not that I heard. That'd be good if they could. I mean, I'm not saying that's that I wouldn't enjoy that, but yeah, I don't know. We'll, yeah, we'll find out. I'm well, Team McCloskey like liking this makes it cool. Yeah, so. see, well, there you go. I don't think nothing wrong with, it, but I don't have any um, nostalgia for Killer Instincts. 
This yeah. Is after, this is after my time. When did this come out? The 90s. 90s. I was in the military. Yeah. So no no arcade games for me, suckers. So I don't even really have nostalgia for 80s arcades. That's what that's what I grew up on. I didn't grow up in Yeah, the I'm pretty much in the same boat. I mean, <laughs> but uh this, well, this for me, this crazy. to me is ugly. I don't know what to tell you other than I, I hate to say it. For me, it looks ugly. I mean, it's just my yeah, opinion, I, but you know, I like purple, so I, yeah. I think lightning bolts look cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> T, well, they're, not gonna, also, T, they're would, not gonna send you one for free. You can stop now. I, I don't really want one. I'd probably reskin it if I got one. But. Yeah. But yeah, if they give me one for free, yeah, I'll, I'll really probably oh, yeah. I'd, if it's for free, it'll be a whole different, you know. I'll, I'll be thinking I'll put it on wheels and roll it out onto the streets. Put some casters on it, yeah. <laughs> Showing everybody. Uh. That'd be interesting. I, I think it needs some work, but we'll see what they do. There's a lot of time left. There's a lot of time left. Or they could ship it like this and see what happens. Well, I put my two skin my two cents into at games. Mm. I you know, I wrote to them and said, I think you should come out with three different skins. This one, um, Killer Stink one and Killer Instinct two, and then maybe battle toads, one, maybe and maybe or something different, maybe something toads. totally different. Well, just for the first one. Yeah. <clears throat> um because they, you know, they they had the rights to these um, tables already. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of like with Jason, you know. Um, yeah, I'd rather not have to reskin it, you know. But if this is how it launches, you don't have any other choice, do you? Mm-hmm. If this is it, they're like, this is art. Take it or leave it. I mean, I don't know. It's a tough call for me, you know. Well, like I told, I, I want the hardware. It. I want the hardware, but I don't like the way it looks. You know, I don't know. Yeah, that's going to be good hardware. <clears throat> yeah, and I, and I told that games like, hey, w- w- it would be great to come out right at you know first up with four different models, you know, you know, four different skins. I mean, because you're giving people choice, you're giving people choices, but you're not having to do a lot of different IP dresses. You're just really doing see or instinct. My but, biggest thing is how do you how do they uh, how do they uh, determine the the interest like for 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 this like if oh uh, that's when i thought they were going to do pre-orders that's where pre-ordering to me seemed brilliant because then you know well i we have this this one is selling really well people like this model yeah this other skin not so much so maybe we don't make as many but i mean this they're just saying you know here it is we got a mountain of them you know and and i don't know like i said i just don't want to see them burn get burnt like arcade one up did with killer instinct I mean, they were practically giving those things away. Well, retro arcade, I, like, like I said, I can think of four um, skins I can do right away. This one, Killer Instinct 1, Killer Instinct 2, and Battletoads. Yeah, mm-hmm. boom. You already got the license for those, so it would be easy. But like I said, that was before when I thought they were going to do pre-orders. Mm-hmm. So you can kind of see where your interests are lying, what skin is selling you know, better during the pre-orders. And then they would kind of determine which way you want to go. But now Peter's are a thing of past. So I don't know how they these are still a long way out. We're talking quarter four of 2024. So there's a lot of time to, to tweak this and maybe make uh, some adjustments. You know, three skins, much bigger coin door. Yeah. They already t- said the coin door yeah. was gonna change. That was just yeah. a, somebody slapped on a 4k. But I mean, they could slap on a bigger image. So we're not looking I at a tiny coin door. It seems like, why wouldn't they have done that already? It's just weird. It's that's like, the same yeah. image. They showed us the, the same the image they initially showed. Yeah. yeah same exact one. Same I just, just should have just kept it off. <laughs> just like didn't put the damn thing on there. Well, we can help. I mean, th- th- they definitely did us right with the, uh, the AOP 4k graphics and artwork. They yeah. kind of souped it up at the last minute. Remember when it had a marquee on it, like an arcade game? It didn't look at all like a pinball machine. Remember that? And they made some changes. So there's still some time, you know. Yeah. E. Leo says no pre-orders means no discount. That, that's not necessarily because you could say like the that's first not day. not necessarily true either. Like I you said. could say the first four days on sale, they're going to be a discount. Yeah, they could still put them on sale. Yeah, they can be ten ninety nine, you know, for the first four days, and after that it goes up because that's what they did with the pre orders. They can yeah. do regular sales too. The only difference is you won't have to wait long after you put your money down. Yeah, which is nice. Which is kind of nice. Could be nice. Yeah, you know, as long as long as they can do their quantities right, whether or not it's getting too many of certain things. Yep. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this goes with the 
instant gratification. I'm just so curious, like with the 4K platform too. Like, what else are they going to bring to it besides the four? I mean, is there going to be more games in the store? We're going to get some 4K arcade games. Are there going to be things to get for it besides the cabinet itself? You know, because right now the only thing you have is the renovations, really, right? You don't have yeah, a don't don't have the action I mean, anymore. like there's like where like what games do you have? I mean, I know people are gonna say, oh, well, you could hook up your consoles to this. Well, you get the you know, too. I can buy a TV at Walmart for a couple hundred bucks. It's a way bigger screen and hook up my console to it, you know. I mean, like what what, the- what what is gonna what what am I gonna play on this 4K arcade? Arcade you know? net. You know, arcade net. Mm-hmm. I don't know how how many games are on that one on arcade net. I don't remember. Oh, I'm not sure. Quite a few. Any of them going to become a stock? They're not. In, they're not in 4K. That's what I'm saying. What in 4K? Well, I, I figure right. they're going to update that to 4K though. Yeah, they have to because what else are you going to play? Uh, you don't have the Activision pack anymore. The Activision yeah. pack's gone. I haven't seen it up there for quite a while. Huh? Unless I'm missing it. Could be wrong. Let me go up there and look. I swore I tried to look for it the other day and I didn't see it. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they do with. Um, it's like you need some 4K content. Like, I mean, of course you can you can you can OTG your computer to it. You could probably play everything in 4K off your computer, like you do with your pinball. Um, Oh, here's the packs here. You know the other feature they need to think about with this team. I'm gonna say it again. Oh, H- go up there. You know the other feature they need to make sure they integrate is HDMI out. HDMI out. So you can yeah, they have an extra like sec- secondary monitor. So you can like run it to a TV or you can stream it. That is that w- that is huge for me as a feature. Yeah, right now, only packs you have for HD is Activision HD game pack and then pre-order the two renovation packs. That's it. And then, of course, you can do the pinball packs because they, they are going to come stock with the pinball uh, yeah. flip buttons there on the side. But yeah, they need they definitely need some more um, 4K uh, yeah. AOU. Yeah, we need, to, we need to hear about, like, what are the plans for that? Like, you know, it's like... It's like almost like a tech demo would be cool. Like, you know, if they had a prototype and they were like, look what we can do with this. And they show you some, some ooh and ahs, you know, some oohs and ahs of like, yeah. oh, look, look, what, look what we can do now, you know? Yeah. Show me Dreamcast, show me Dreamcast emulation working. Show me something, show me something, you know, something that makes me want this above what I have now. Cause I'll be honest, Team McCloskey. I know you don't have one, but I have I have an ALU and I love it. I'm not gonna lie, I love it. It's great. Look at this artwork. It's beautiful. I'm just like, uh, what is this gonna give me above what I have now? 4K. But what can I do with it? I want to see some. I want to see some things running. I want to see. I want to see it. You know, show me. Show me some. Show me the magic. You know. Yeah, they do have an extra um, a port too that can do uh, HDMI out. Yeah, you can do. That. You can do that. You can do that with the original um, AOU. You can make it into a screen. Yeah, because right now um, one port's going to be the bit LCD. The other one's going to be your main screen, of course. And then they got a third one. They could actually make it the HDMI out because uh, unused right now. It'd be cool if they did yeah. that. Yeah, HDMI out needs to happen for sure. I mean, I can't imagine buying something this high end and it not not having HDMI out. This monitor could feature better black levels and such. It won't make classic games look any better than 1080p unless they bring modern games to it as they did with the ALP 4K. That's exactly what I'm saying, Jason. That's what I was trying to get out. Yep. You need you need you need some games that are going to take advantage of the 4K screen. Exactly, which is modern games. Modern games, yeah. That's why they're going to give you the modern Killer Instinct. That would be cool. Like if they had the 2013 or the modern versions. Yeah. That would that would be kind of cool. It'd be interesting. Not lie. Yeah. They already have a theme to the with the more modern uh, Microsoft colors. I mean, at least if it had the more modern game. I don't know. Yeah. We're, we're thinking way outside the box. We're speculating quite a bit here, Team McCloss. We were, we don't know anything, yeah. but we don't know nothing now. I'm just I'm just wondering, like, you know, why do I need 4K 
on the home arcade. It's cool, but I mean, like, what's this going to bring to the table new that I don't have right now? Maybe they're partnering up. Well, Microsoft has a bunch of modern games, right? Microsoft. They, they, play. Yeah. they got the partnership with them. So, yeah, they might be giving us a bunch of modern games because why else would you have a 4K arcade cabinet yeah. if you weren't going to get modern games? You don't need this for retro games, right? No. Like Jason said, that board can allow for a bunch of widescreen modern retro indie games that they yeah. should bring to the platform store. So, you know, they might. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward. It's going to be interesting to see what that games is going to do. I mean, and yeah, we don't know what other partnerships they have. They might have somebody besides Microsoft. You know, we yeah. don't know. You know, because I mean, you're bringing out a 4K product to put 4K products on it, so it's got to be yeah. on games. There's no way around it. So, yeah, interesting to see what we get. Or you know, if, if it's not something they're doing, I want to see like. How do you connect something to it in 4K and what, how does it work? Yeah. You know, if I can connect my console to it, like how do I, how does that, what's that look like and what does it enable? What does it look like on the machine? You know, how complicated is it to do it? Because yeah, right now, all you, all, you know, yeah, I know I, OTG I, to a computer should be no problem. Right. If that's what they're thinking, but if that's what they're thinking, you know, it'd be cool to know that. That you're gonna yeah. have, your computer will be your 4K content. Then, once again, you're back to OTG like you are with the you're locking a computer to it, and that's a lot of money because then you're doing a computer as well. I don't think that's what they're looking at because that would that would be kind of stupid. Because mm -hmm. some I mean, people how many, how many high end gaming computers am I supposed to buy, Team McCloskey? I got one. Oh. I got my main one. I'm having to disconnect to use the pinball right now. Well, they don't bring these out for you to hook them up to OTG either. They bring yeah. them up for you to play, play standalone. Standalone, so, exactly. They got some stuff up their sleeves for uh, 4K products for this thing, I think. They have to because, you know, they don't expect you to hook up to OTG. Yeah. Why would you buy this if you had to hook up to OTG to play 4K? There's stuff. There's got to be stuff coming in the 4K format for this besides the pinball packs. For Zero. Yeah. With Zero, you know. I think they might have partnership with other companies that bring us some modern games. That's yeah. Not, it's got to be. Got to be. And yeah, Microsoft does open a bunch of windows for modern games, too. So we'll see. It could be. Because they really haven't talked about this a whole lot yet. So. No, no. I think I think they probably have a plan. We just don't know what it is exactly yet. Exactly. it. Because you ain't going to bring a 4K product out to so you have to hook it up to OTG. 4K you know, arcade with, with no games that run on it. <laughs> with yeah. No no games that you could put on it. I mean, you could connect yeah. to your computer and use it as a screen with arcade makes, controls, but yeah, I mean... That makes no sense. That doesn't really... I mean... Nobody would buy it. That's the point. Oh, my goodness. Well, some people would buy it, but a lot of people would not buy it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So that can't be the plan. So they got, they got stuff coming up. Partnerships are... Like I said, Microsoft alone opens up a lot of doors. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, one last thing. Uh, what are you doing over there? I just spilled a drink. Ah, oh, jeez. I made a mess, man. You're trying, now you're trying to ruin stuff by drinks getting into it. Ah, oh, I know. <laughs> you got a mess, Team McCloskey. Anyway, go ahead. I'm listening. I got one last uh, subject to talk about, and then uh, I'm, I'm wrapping it up. Wrap our it friends, up. our friends in the pinball world, <laughs> has an announcement. Uh oh, we're, we're talking ninja! Oh no, it's the ninja eclipse! Shabam! There it is, Papa Brad. The new oh, improved ninja eclipse. It's only six nine nine four now. Wow. It's not it's not 10 gate 10k anymore, Pop Brad. They it came back down to earth. I thought it was 10k. Three thousand dollars. They brought it down, and look, looks more like a pinball that? machine. Look how uh, looks, looks so much like more like a pinball. Oh my God, I spilled look at the cabinet. Down. Cabinet looks pretty pretty good there. It's looking good. First edition limited to 100 units. Six nine nine four. Wow. Buy yours. Buy yours today. Buy it today. Now, now, did they switch to glass or is it still plastic on the top? I guarantee it's still plastic. Still plastic, yeah, but it is. I could be wrong. I don't know anything about it. But besides, yeah, right. it, like, I saw this on Facebook. I was like, ah, I got to clip it. <laughs> there you Just go. 
since we've been talking about them. But I'm glad they. Uh, I'm glad they fixed. It. Look, look at the coin door. They got a right size coin door on there now. It's yeah, uh, it looks better than it did before. Yeah, it's not that skinny ass thing they had. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But I'm glad they dropped the price too. They dropped it three thousand bucks, which is good for not a known IP address. <laughs> Class is a three K option. <laughs> But yeah, they're they're in a little uh, more realistic range now. I think they might sell a hundred, maybe. Interesting. Yep. Well, I thought that was interesting when I saw it. I'm like, hey, they actually fixed the the cabinet too. It looks a lot better. Now you can put a regular size coin door on there, which they did. It definitely looks better. Yeah. I have a feeling it's probably not glass though. I still think it's probably plastic because of you know, even with their that because they do have a neat system how to pop that glass off. I still think yeah. you, I still think you could do it as a glass, but it would just be heavier. Uh, um, something to haul around. But they could do a lightweight glass, even would be better than their plastic. But yeah. Anyways, at least they're in more the realistic range price range. Anyways. Yeah. Well, all the pinball stuff's coming down. I mean, it's it's all dropping in price. I think it was uh, artificially high for a while, you know. Yeah. Start, I mean, we knew that from when I talked to Todd Tucky like months ago. Yep. I mean, he said that he pretty much said that the writing was on the wall that was going to happen. You know, stuff can only be at top at the highest level for so long. You know, <laughs> and stuff's yeah. going to stop selling. Yeah, I just don't see them doing it. Treat it as as an OTG only option. I don't see them doing that. Then tell me what for? Like I said, what 4K stuff? Show me something so I know I get an idea of what the machine is for. What what's it going to bring to the table? Yeah. Yep. That I can't yeah. do. That I can't do already. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see more before they uh, come out. Yeah, yeah, they got a lot. They got a long runway to figure that out, but um, that is a that is an important question. Yep, because they, they know themselves that people don't buy these for OTG. They know that a lot of people, yeah, play them native without OTG. A lot of people they they play the stock games, and then some people put coin ops or they sideload stuff. That's important. Yeah. That, it's important that that is executed well too. Because that's a huge part of the demographic that plays the at games. And don't mm -hmm. forget, these 4K LUs are going to be a lot more expensive. Yeah, yeah, they are. So, you know, people ain't going to want to buy that price and you're going to get stocked games. Yeah. Put up X. I know, they might treat it like uh, the ALP. They might uh, partner somebody and uh, do uh, packs or something. Maybe. 4K packs. So there's that renovation supposed to be in 4K as well. The renovation packs, uh, HD right now. Weren't they supposed to come out in 4K too? Um, I thought okay. so. I okay. thought so. But those are old games, aren't they? How's that going to work? I don't know. We'll see. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I think just show us more. You know, I want a demo. Give me a demo. Godlib. What can Godlib. I do? Don't forget, Godlib uh, tables were old, and they upscaled them to 4K. Yeah. Zacharias. Yeah, well, they got a long ways. I mean, they're, they're not going to start uh, selling these until the quarter four. So we're just in a quarter two. So you got all spring, all summer, and pretty much part of fall. So they, they, they got a long road ahead still. So, Dude, team of class game. I'm sorry. I'm so preoccupied, but I spilled a full beer in this mug. I know. I saw your glass, man. My fancy light up keyboard. <laughs> you got full beer in it. I saw your glass was full, man. Right before it was you did full, that. it went right in here, man. Like there's still there's still beer dripping out of it. Be lucky if I this keyboard even works after this. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's still lighting up. So you're, it's still lighting so up. So far, so good. So far, so good. We'll have to wait and see. That sucks, though, man. Yeah. Oh well, that's what happens. Living dangerously, drinking, drinking by this electronics. Mm -hmm. 
we'll do the car O game of the week on Saturday. Mid, well, on mid-day. Saturday? Yeah, we're almost three hours. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely put on the time. Still lighting up, so you're good. Still lighting up. Well, as, as the beer dries up, it could go. Let's get this thing going. Get the effects here. Okay, we get T. McCloskey. There it is. <coughs> looking good. It's looking good so far. Hopefully it stays that way, man. Hopefully. Unicorn puke. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, no, that's kind of how mine's set up right now. So this is the nicest keyboard, man. Hope it Mine's continues not. to work. <laughs> Mine's not wireless. Like any color? Yeah, it glows. You know, it does this glowing thing? Look at that. Look how nice it is. Yeah, I never. I don't even know how to change my colors on mine anymore. It's been so long since I changed the colors on it. It's freaking my camera out. So what are you doing? What is all that light? What are you doing? Like, That's what are you cool. doing spilling all that drink on me? What are you doing, man? How many colors this thing does? This thing does a lot. Look at that. It's incredible. Pretty good. We got anyone else coming in? Playing, uh... Playing some, yeah, we got uh, seven... Do we have 17 before? I don't know. I don't think so. It looks like the same people. Okay. Oh, uh, no. Uh, ah, shit, what I do? Yeah, we do have somebody new in there. Uh, two Puck. Oh, two okay. Punk. Key Punk. Awesome. Oh, there we go. Yeah, T Punk almost beat your score, man. He's gonna for me. He's gonna for me. You're right below Papa Brad. Play again. Play again. You're almost there. The fifty million. Another person. Uh, was he? The, oh, he wasn't wow. in there. Old powder to old powder days wasn't in there. That's someone new. And look, Team McCluskey stole number two. Woo! Yep. And so we got two what? Uh, two new people then? Hold on, Team McCluskey. He put up a high score. I was like, dang, that's a good score. After I played, I was like, man, I played a few games. I was like, you brought it. Yeah, I, I I thought the same thing after I couldn't get, get close to it again. I'm like, damn, I, it is a pretty good score. <laughs> yeah, it was a good can't score. get close to it again. Got to get that. Sometimes multiple. that's the way it works. Sometimes your first game's your best game. Yeah, it wasn't my first, but it was like my second or third. Yeah, that was a good score. Like, look, I was like, look at me go, man! Look at me go! Go, go, go Team McCluskey, go! <laughs> I got in my own head, man. I think <laughs> fucking ball drained. I was like, I got one more ball. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If yeah, after a couple seconds, so, damn it! You got to not to keep talking about the ALU, the new ALU 4K, but they got a long runway, so they can make a lot of changes, yeah. or they can leave it exactly the way it is, and yeah. you know, we'll see. But I put my two cents in to that yeah. game for what I thought, at least for the mm -hmm. skin. So give them, give them four choices. I, I, choices. I think, I think a tech demo of just showing what it can do. Yep. Um, would go a long way too to yeah, give us an way. idea like well what are they thinking like what's this going to bring to the table new um what, what what can i enable with this you know what do i use this for you know yep. but what's what comes with it mm -hmm. or what capabilities will it have you know yeah, what's possible you know but anyway we'll see good show team mccloskey good show good show man I'm ready to uh, try to take you out in pinball. I need to start playing. I guess I start working on chiseling away that score that you got. No, you don't have to chisel, man. You're you're good. Yeah. You're Is that a score already? So how many how many how many time zones did you complete? Is that two time zones completed? Did you could you get through the goals of two complete tables, two yes. complete times? So I need to clear two complete time zones to get past that. Okay, yeah, there's man. what four total or, or more than that. Is there so four two, total? We got two eighty fives, two eighteen eighty fives. They have two eighteen eighty five. I thought eighteen eighty five is one one version. No, it was eighteen eighty five, and um, 
1985 and 1885 both have A's alternatives. They have an alternative think. one? Okay, I didn't know they both had alternatives. Pretty sure. And then just 2015. Okay. Let's show you. Let me go in the table. Back to the future. Let's see. Because I think in the, if you don't play it, it shows it like up close. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it does this where it scrolls on the screen. We can't see it, Team McCloskey. Make it put on the screen. Ah. Resume. Oh, what happened? So you got six all together. The 1985, 1955, 1955, 18, 1950. So two 1955. Six, two, six, different, six different time zones you have to complete. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. So 1885. Two 1955s, two 1985s, and then 2015. Yeah, Carlo says the FX3 version is definitely easier. Like I said, FX3, it's pretty awesome. I'm a fan. For OTG, it's pretty sweet. Oh, the FX version is definitely easier? Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Dan Z's is letting out some poo yans. Poo yan! Poo yans! Zami says he gets notifications way late from us. You, YouTube is uh, not notifying your uh, subscribers, T. McCloskey. It doesn't surprise me there at all. They don't like you. They don't like well, you. They don't, want, they don't want people to tune in while you're live. Oh, they do that with my shorts. The There's a flux capacitor. There it is. Oh, you got Doc back there. See, yeah. you can't see the back of this thing, back of the table right there. You can when you play it on a, on a virtual pinball table. You can yeah, see everything see. good. That's where's the advantage of that. That's the biggest advantage is you can see everything good. Yep. When you play on a console, you know they got the views, which try to help with that, but yeah, it doesn't. Your your view is not obstructed. I mean, you can see stuff really well. I so think there's your on the cabinet. Here's your six dates. Six different dates. Yeah. Dude, I'm stoked. I can't wait to play this some more. It's pretty fun, man. It's pretty fun. It's I love great. it. It's I love great. all the different years. I did too. I think it's great. You know, the years have different music to it. Amazing. I love the 80s, man. And then you hit the guitar. This is the you... best Back to the Future pinball table we have right now, too. I mean, like, I've played the, they have, uh, tomorrow I can play the real one, the one that they made, the Daddy East or whatever. And it's yeah. nowhere near like this is way more fun than the actual. You know, until someone makes another. Hopefully, I heard a rumor Stern might make a Back to the Future. Really? I heard a rumor, but I don't know if it's true or not. Hmm. This is a great property, though. So theme it's a pinball table too. So much yeah. you can do. They did a lot. Zen did a they lot. Did a lot. It. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, I've been enjoying it recently uh, so far. A lot of fun. Yeah, I like it too. It's like in like 1985, you know, the um, electric guitar pops up. Oh, yeah, yeah. The pinheads. Yeah. I like the first one. It's like the pinheads. Pin pin yeah. And then uh, the Earth yeah, Angel. Man. Earth Angel is the name of the mode on the 50s. When it's pretty good for not having the actual actors saying the stuff, it's pretty well done. Like the you know the way they do the uh the the sound bites and stuff. Yeah, Doc almost sounds like him. He's Doc sounds really good. Yeah, Marty. Uh, Michael yeah. Marty's a, Michael J. Fox character is a little bit off, but yep. it's not bad. Yeah, I hate hit my knee on my computer too. <laughs> I got my computer bumping every once in a while. It's underneath my table now, but it's like on yeah. a frame hooked to my leg on my table. You got a got a computer hooked to your leg. Leg of my desk. Oh, the leg of your desk. Okay. You need to do that with my PS5 too. I mean, this thing's a freaking beast. It's so fucking big, man. It's laying on my desk. It takes up a quarter of my freaking desk. It's so damn big. The I PS5 be, is huge. I thought they're supposed to get smaller, not bigger. Bigger. Dude, that would be a waste of like I said, I hadn't even turned the PlayStation. <laughs> it was like it was asking what I was doing, turning it on. It's like you remembered me. <laughs> <laughs> My PlayStation 4. Poor thing hasn't been turned on in forever. I 
What is the code to search? Let's tell them the code, T. McCloskey. Better tell them yet. the code for the Back to the Future. Put up Better the yet. put up. Look at that zoom. We got the best zoom in. There it is. We, when we put all we Papa Brad sneaks all the hot hot girls onto his thumbnails, don't I? You gotta be careful, T. McCloskey. I'm always putting a hot hot girl on the thumbnail. I put I put this one on there. I put her on there. Did this you? Is, yeah, this is me uh, copying Papa Brad. Oh, okay, yep. yeah. I yeah. clipped her on there. Yeah. Because yeah. this is for the pinball table. So yeah, I copped her on. I saw you put it on yours. I'm like, I got to put her on mine. <laughs> yeah, so why, would, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you want a mullet? Mullets are cool. DNC said, are we growing mullets? Are you guys growing mullets? 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 mullets are coming back. I might, man. I might. Yeah, right man. now, man. It's business, short you know, business, business in the front, rock and roll in the back. Unsub. <laughs> No, Jason's on seven. If we do mullets, no, no. Oh no, I don't have a mullet. I'm like, grow. We're growing. We're growing. We're we're gonna go to Atlanta Expo there in August. Was August? Yeah, September. yeah. That, that, we'll, we'll, we both need to have mullets. That'd be perfect. We're gonna show up in mullets. That would like, be yeah. cool. <laughs> we'll bring them back. Uh, that would be cool. It would probably take me that long to grow one. So mine's pretty short right now. Mm -hmm. Never know. K6VV is the is the tournament ID code. So just go on Pinball FX, type K6VV in the tournament uh, search, search window, the search ID. Oh. I'll take you right to the tournament. Free to play. Yep, free to play. There's no, no, no secret uh, access code or anything. It's just open yep. tournament. No passwords. Zero cool almost beat Papa Brad's score. Now I know how to play. It's coming oh, you for did. the top ten. He, is he uh, Zuko, uh, Zero Cool? You uh, T Punk? Uh, T Punk was right underneath you. Mm -hmm. That's cool. He's got to be T Punk, I would think. It's got to be. Yep. Yep, that's him. Yep. That's him. He's got it for me. T Punk, I need to play. I need to bring it up. I need to bring it up. I need to bring it up. I got people got it for me now. I know, and he's pretty close, man. He almost got well, you. Sucker. He almost beat me last time. He'll beat me on his next game. Oh, we got 18 people in there now. Oh, yeah. 41 million, you're at 50. Dude. You think this one will go over 50? We almost hit 50 on the last one. Yeah, we hit 48. We hit 48. I swear one time I looked at it, it said 50, but then it went down. I don't know. Well, I thought it still said 50. Um but obviously they didn't play. Ah oh, man, somebody look that Bailey or whatever get close to me, man. It's going. It's, they're gunning for you. They're gunning yeah. for you. The Sharks are going to be coming in, Team McCloskey. You're going to be on Ooh. number twenty-five. He was below. Uh, you prepared to get jump to kick down. Man, he almost got me, man. Damn coming it. in, man. Ooh. Bring him on in. Bring him on in. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, see, it still says fifty. See, it says fifty, doesn't it? See, yep. it's not my imagination. Okay. I thought it said 50 when you click on it. Yeah, I, I, that means two people checked out the leaderboards, but they didn't play it. Yeah, they should have played anyway. I mean, what does what difference does it make? They, they got discouraged. They went up to the top number one. They're like, damn, yeah. I can't beat three, three, three billion. Billion, three billion. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. No way I can catch them. Yeah, I don't care. I'll play. If I'm in last place, it's fine. It's all about yeah, playing. it's just fun. It's, it's, it's fun, fun to learn play. these tables because yeah, I want to learn a lot of these tables if we weren't doing yeah. that. Oh, yeah, yeah that's we that's, learn that's, the tables. that's what we're gonna do. To learn them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to play and learn them. And uh, Saturday we'll uh, do a poll and uh, see uh, what pinball M table uh, everybody wants to play. DNZ says I'm surprised they don't release all the games on At Games 4K like they've done on Pinball FX. Pinball effects, we don't have the Gottliebs. Well, the thing is, uh, Pinball uh, Zen has been around for a long time, so they didn't release all these tables at once. I think they, they gradually said, built them up. Didn't they send, Zen say they have 120 tables right now? Yeah, yeah. I, I think at some point they will. they uh, keep dropping them on that games in the regular, but they got to fix what they got already, too. Yeah, yes, they I do. mean, that's the most important thing. They got to fix and get it running as smooth as they can before they release more tables. Yeah, because you did you hear about the Star Trek? No, it's up on Facebook. Um, they're saying the Star Trek has a flipper lag. lag. Flipper yep. lag. Yep. 
They got to fix that. That's the number one. got to be the number one priority. Yep. But I think at some point, once they get everything fixed, I think tables will drop faster. Hey, bud. I'm online right now. Damn, where the hell am I at here? Because everything now drops, you know, because uh, Nintendo Switch was kind of like that too. But now they fixed everything with Nintendo Switch. They drop instantly with everybody else. Go see Nana. Wow, man, look at that. Yeah, I can't find that now. Uh, Apparently yeah, all did. Zen tables have some sort of lag. Yeah, that's that's that is issue. Yep. Yeah, I can't find that comment now. But yeah, somebody said the Star Trek. Somebody has played at Star Trek and that games and he said the has a flipper lag. Hmm. Of course I didn't clip it and I can't find it now, but it was on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Ah, here it is. Okay. They have video or they're just saying that it does? They're just saying it does. They're just saying it does. So is there, there is some noticeable flipper lag in Star Trek pinball tables that is being worked on for a future update to improve. Slight uh, flipper audio echo is heard from the back box speakers. Flip, flipper echo. Hmm. Oh, this this is from Mac Games. I didn't I didn't see I haven't seen this. This is new. Well, I'll pull it up. I haven't seen it either. It's actually coming from uh, Mac Games. Um, Zoom. Take that off the screen so we can see. Let's see what it says. Okay, this is release notes. Star Trek pinball pre-installed on FX Legends 4K Star Trek Collector's Edition pinball, April third. Those who purchased FX Legends 4K Star Trek Collector's Edition Pinball will begin receiving them at their home shortly. These include a Star Trek Pinball, all the different tables. Okay, and update your device to 6.0.11, which we have right now. So, <clears throat> so this is all the stuff that comes with it, which we know. Miscellaneous for the latest information on future releases, please follow. Blah, blah. Okay, here it is here. Known issues. There's some noticeable flipper lag in the Star Trek pinball tables that is being worked on for a future update to improve. Slight flipper audio echo is heard from the back box speakers. And then you hmm. see it, it comes, it's coming from that game. So the people that got this, got the Star Trek pinball, I guess, mm -hmm. are get, getting the ease in the email. So there you go. <clears throat> There's some flipper lag on Star Trek's as well. Hmm. It's not surprising. Well, it, seems a, it seems to be a Zen problem. I mean, yeah. yeah, if one of them's gonna have flipper lag, they're all gonna have flipper lag until they get it fixed. I mean, there's no yeah. other way around it. I think once they do the update to 6.0.11, I bet they see a noticeable flipper improvement as well. Yeah, once they do that, the software update. Yeah, well, the, the last software update it was a big update, like it improved the uh, gameplay a lot for Adam's family. I know and the flipper lag yeah. went down. It went so, down. They just need to keep whittling away at it, you know, and get more of it, more of it removed. So I think this Star Trek, but they never uh, said they officially had fixed it or anything like that. It was just a side benefit, I think. Yeah, it know, was. It, I asked. Yeah. And they said no. That was. Um, yeah, it was a side benefit of the of the updated firmware, but I'm sure they know about it. They know we want Zen tables. We don't want flipper lag. They know. Yeah, they know about it. Zen know knows about, about it. it. They need to I fix it. Knows about it. I'm just glad that update helped but, the flipper lag. Well, what we'll, what will happen is if they don't fix it, T. McCloskey people will stop buying tables. Yep, that's what's oh, going to yeah, end up happening, and they don't want that to happen. You know what thing annoys me about the Snoopy table? Mm -hmm. The ball is so damn small. Go play, <laughs> go play Snoopy, and then go play Adam's Family. The ball's tiny, man. They mm -hmm. got tiny balls on there. <laughs> Little tiny balls, T. McCloskey. They are. Go play Snoopy. And go play they, they shrunk. It must have been cold in there. Well, that's what makes that Snoopy a little harder to play, too, because the ball's so to small. See, yeah. 
Yeah, play Adam's Family and then go play Snoopy and see. You'll see the note. You'll notice the difference. You're like, damn, yeah. man, the ball is a lot smaller. Yeah. <clears throat> I never noticed that until I played. Somebody said something in our stream last time, and I went and yeah. played. I'm like, yeah. Tiny, dude, tiny little Charlie Brown balls. Yeah, that's what they are, man. Dude. Yeah, yeah go check it out, man. Play Adam's Family first and then go over there. Or play any. Yeah. Uh, go play Gottlieb and then go play Snoopy. You'll see the huge difference. In the uh -huh. But it makes that table harder, too. So, you know, it says it's super small. It's very hard to play. Uh -huh. See? So <laughs> a small dog. He does not have big balls. <laughs> That's true. But we want big balls to play the game because it makes it harder, man. Well, oh, 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 overall, though, a lot of good news, though, overall. I mean, the good news is we got a calendar. We got some dates with some things to look forward to. That's good news, isn't it? Uh, we got that they're going to start trying to make the pinball where it's like immediately ready to ship. You just pay for it. And they ship yeah, it everything. Out. everything. Everything. I'm sorry. Everything. Everything. Everything's going to be like you just pay for it. And they ship even it. Cup that, holders. That, that is that is that that is a, that is a tall order. But you know, even cup holders, are, man. I hope they I hope they can execute that well. But that is a good thing as long as they can execute it well. Yep. I mean, yep. how cool is it if you can just pay for something and then and you get shipped to you right away. I mean, that's, that's a good thing as long as they can you know deliver it, you know, but, yeah. and I think they will. I mean, they obviously have a plan. They seem to know what they're doing. We have a schedule with release dates of some pinball tables. There they are. Um, yeah, it's cool. I mean, Hey, overall, a lot of, a lot of positive news. They're doing a lot of things right overall. And you know, the one thing they need to fix really the biggest gripe still is the Zen pinball lag. That's the number one issue right now, I think, as far as hot hot spots of th something they need to fix. You know, as far as a machine, I love it. I mean, I love the, I love the uh, 4KP. It's fantastic. And once you open up that OTG Pandora's box, it was a big deal with that. It just gets better. So then all of a sudden you have everything. Team McCloska have everything now. Can you imagine uh, buying a Snoopy or Attack from Mars, and three days later it's at your door? Yeah, I mean, I mean that's, that's that could be a really good thing. I mean, you know, for sure. I mean, the only thing the only thing could be bad is some of those collectors editions that could get sold out if you maybe it's a model you wanted. But, but the, you know, it looks like they'll be back in stock there at some point. Yeah. Well, they said then they, I thought they said those are doing one run of them, or uh, they're doing so many and then we run out, 5, they're 000. gone. Yeah, five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah. That's a tall order. There. That's a lot. That's a lot of pinball machines, though. Five thousand, man. That's a lot. I think they should have That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of pinball machines, man. Yeah. It might take I mean, a couple that's years. Similar to, that. to what the uh, Stern and stuff do, isn't it? And that's similar to what they actually do with real pinballs. I don't, I don't do that. that much higher. You know, I didn't think they did five thousand. I thought they did like two or three. Yeah. Sure. Five thousand is a lot. It might take you three or four years to sell all those. Yeah. I don't know. That's a lot. That's a lot of machines, like you said. Biggie D was gaming on his arcades on a stream, and his stream crashed. No, no. Sorry to hear that, Biggie D. Got a couple hours in, though. There yeah, go. that's good. Juan D says, not at the end of the month. If good sale, may have to get attack from Mars. Was waiting on a creature, but yeah. don't think that's coming anytime soon. I don't know, man. Could be coming... Never, you just never know when they're going to drop that. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. They keep us in the dark. We don't know. And when is that sale? Yeah, April twenty sixth. Like I said, overall positive calendar with dates, with projected dates of things that are going to happen, which is good. And sales coming up. And cool. transparency. You know, the, if if they have an issue with the pinball table, they're not hiding it. They're they're not they're not releasing it and then not saying anything. Like some companies, they'll release a broken cabinet and they'll say nothing. They'll just let the consumers vent online and on YouTube. You yeah. know what I mean, McCluskey? I mean, AtGames is literally saying, "Well, we know we have this issue with this." So at least they're being transparent in that regard. I mean, do I wish everything was perfect right out the gate? Of course, who doesn't? You know, it's a brand new product. Everything to be perfect, but it's a brand new product. They're still figuring some things out. So. But it's not, it's not the same as the ALP. This is made from scratch. Yeah, this is a whole new ball game. Yeah. So, 
And they've been, like you said, they've been transparent, you know, they've been transparent. Their number one, their number one technical issue though, is getting Zen to fix their tables yep. where they're running smoothly. And, uh, whatever so far, they do to do that, you know, maybe so far the, the first update, the firmware update did help, but we'll see, we'll see down the road, you know, but eventually if they keep <laughs> them up with lag, people are going to stop buying them. That's what's going to end up happening. Team McCloskey, I hate to say it, but that's what will happen long term. Or oh, yeah, because you're gonna be buying. You're not gonna be buying a bunch of Zen tables. Yeah, I mean, I don't, don't want to buy tables with lag in them. I can play them on OTG perfectly fine. Yep. I think Zen table lags might be a good thing for us. It'll teach us to play much better when they finally fix it. That is true. It is harder to play it with a little bit of lag. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. If you wish to view today's pinball bites. I think we pretty much played the whole thing, but there is the link for it. How is the SSF kit on the Gottlieb tables, Ray asks? I think it's pretty good. Well, yeah, I had to mess with my settings yeah. a little bit, but once I did that, it sounds really, really good. Yeah. The sound is not stellar overall. Well, the SSF is with the sound. The SSF, the, the, the ball rolling around on the on the older tables sounds good, but the, the sound has some some... Uh, if you listen to it carefully, some of the sampling and stuff, there's some crackling and stuff. Yeah, the sound, could be, the the sound could be better. It's not it's not the pinball machine, it's the actual samples. Yep. Yeah, we the, saw the, the best there. sound are, are the the best sound are the magic pixel tables and the Taito tables to me. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, I got it's my like uh, a whole nother level. I got my free uh, pinball pack. Um for that LPO I belong to now. Yeah, awesome. And uh, I got the uh, title table pack two. Oh, good. good. What tables are in that one? That's uh, Operation yeah. Operation Wolf one. Oh, okay, cool. That's a good one. You got a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, and there's what, four tables on that one? Yeah, so I have one and two now. So yeah, those that. are good. I get all the title tables. I just need uh, pack three, which I'll get that in my next quarter, my free $25 pack. <laughs> We're going to spend your $25 uh, gift card that you won on. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I might say it might save it. They said they have a sale coming up. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, yeah, I, I definitely would wait. That. I might yeah, save wait. it for the sale. Um, yeah, I, yeah, definitely wait for the 26th. I think I've, I've bought everything except for the tables that are free that come with a uh, pinball net. Yeah. And I, I hate to buy all those because I should be getting them with my pinball net subscription. And they have, I mean, uh, Zen Table is going to be dropping too. So we're going to have what? At least uh, we're going to have the Star Trek drop here on the 17th. Yeah, we have one dropping for sure this month. 17th, yep. 17th, yeah. You could buy it on that one. I wonder if that'll go on sale on the 26th. But yeah, you could buy that one. It's a, that's three tables. And that's three Star more, yeah. I'm not sure how much that's going to be. It'll be interesting to see what the price is on that. Is it going to be 15 Oh, no, you know did they give us prices on that? They did. They wrote the prices right on there. Pull up that thumbnail that you have with the with the pack release dates. It said the price. I think it's fifteen bucks. Yeah, I think it was fifteen bucks. Uh, yep, they're all fifteen. Fifteen bucks. Yeah, so five dollars a table on that one. Yeah, that's the best. And uh, Godzilla versus Kong has three as well. Mm -hmm. So that that one's not coming out until May 29th. Then Twilight Zone's one. And then next generation is one for 15 bucks. So I'll definitely wait for our sales on those two. Yeah. Get a little bit cheaper <clears throat> than that. Well, Biggie D says uh, they have Chucky for 15% off on Switch today. So there you go. So see, there are sales on uh, Switch and uh, PlayStation. Uh, yeah, the PlayStation and the pack were playing on sale. <clears throat> $349, you said, right? Three dollars forty nine cents for ET, Back to the Future, and Jaws. That's a good deal. Yeah, it is a good deal. That's six dollars and fifty cents off. Yeah, even like, even if you just want to have a second way to play them for the tournament, it's not a bad deal. I mean, if you have a PlayStation as well, it's not a bad deal. Over a dollar chance to play. Like a dollar fifteen or dollar yeah, oh five <laughs> for each table. <clears throat> Less than two bucks a table. 
base on Deep Space Nine is impressive. I watch this. Uh, I watch this video. Have you ever seen those videos with the bar graphs and they show the years go and they show like it was all the movies how much money they made. I never realized ET was such a massive, massive money making movie. Um, yeah. I, it's like a time lapse thing where it has a bunch of bar graphs and they did the years go by and it shows which movies were best and the bar graphs get bigger and smaller as the timeline goes. And man, when ET came on, it ET was a huge financial success as a movie. It was just massive. Um, when you looked at it like on that timeline, so uh. Et was Et was a strong title for, for them. Yeah, it as was. a movie, you made a lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. <clears throat> and merchandise too. I think they made a lot of money on that too. Yeah, it was a big selling uh, movie. It's one of those movies that grabbed everybody, the you know parents and kids. Yeah, it had it had mass appeal. Yep. Okay. Wrap it up, suckers. Let's do oh, it. I already had that up already. He had it up already. Had it up, just had it up twice now. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Thanks, uh, Jason and Marine 50 for those uh, gifts. Uh, Marine 50 gave out 10, so thank you guys uh -huh. for those donations. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thanks to everybody for hanging out with us for three hours and 13 minutes, Papa Brad. Wow. It's supposed to be a short one. Oh, trucking. This is supposed to be the short one. What happened? I don't know what happened. Yeah. Always happens. But we got through it all, man. One thing we didn't get was Carl always oh, game of the week. We'll do that on Saturday. And then okay. uh, you're going to give us an update on Atari 400 Mini, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got an update on that. A little review. So it'd be awesome to see. Awesome. See what you think after a week because you've had it for a week now, right? Yeah. We'll be on Saturday because you open it up on Saturday. Yeah. So be Last week. Interested to see what you have to say on that. Okay, we'll hold it. All right, man. Have a Stay great, legit. Uh, have a great Friday. It's already Friday over here. Stay legit. See you suckers on Saturday, hopefully. Later, Pop Brad. Later. Later. T. McCluskey presents. Arcade Talk live stream. Ah. Uh -huh.